Last time on Dragon Ball, we're fucked. What are you talking about? Dragon Ball Gen Z. You might be. No, I'm doing pretty good, actually. I mean, you took like six turns against one guy and just barely scratched him. Uh, to be fair, I've taken three and two of those were attacks. One of those was a complete block for Tess. Yeah. yeah. Hey. It's going to take you a while. Just like a previous episode, the last episode, we moved. 40 meters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that might be more than we moved on this one. We have breached a building. We breached a corridor, and that's that's about it. Yeah, no, and, and, and that one we did move slightly more, but not much more. But hey, hey, Down we, a hallway. Breached the, we breached the shit out of this corridor. Yeah. Sure. What, what did it took? Explosives and an old rocket launcher? <laughs> I don't know. What did you take? Uh, we got two goobers shooting away with bolters and aren't doing anything, actually. Brothers, it's a trap! Run! Yeah, I gotta it's move the, the goobers. Let me, move the GM. Let me move the GM, damn it. It's not letting me move the GM. Very well. GM? Oh, no, I was gonna drag. Last time it let me drag your name uh, plate, like, all the way to the far right of the screen. So I did. Oh, yeah, it... You just gotta yeah, hover over the name. Enough. That doesn't work anymore, so you have to hover over the name and then hover over the uh, move icon. There well, mine keeps disappearing every time I try and hover over that icon. Okay, I did it. Yeah, see, so yeah, if you hover over it, over, like, the name for a second, and then you like, very finitely put it over the little arrows, and now you can move it. And now the GM uh, is off in his own separate world over there. I see, you gotta go super slow to yes. cover that arrow. You have to be precise. Yes, words I'm not allowed to say. <laughs> but you do know the acronym of STEEL. Yes. <laughs> I also know the acronym of KISS. Keep it simple, stupid. Keep it simple, stupid. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. All right. Are we ready? Are we, is, I'm presuming the uh, recorder is uh, recording for yeah. the purposes. Yeah. I'm recording. Future self, invest in stonks. Or like past self. I Man, I, I wish I could. That's not. That's not how recordings work. <laughs> I wish I could uh, tell tell myself in 2010 to uh, buy about three hundred dollars worth of Bitcoin. <laughs> yeah. No. 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 I was talking to my 2025 self. Ah. Okay. I said what I said. That's just. That's uh, that's less than it's two years from less. now. <laughs> It's a time capsule message. All right, let's get this. Let's go. Let's go. Mysterious space brains. It's a trap. It's a trap. Yeah. Mysterious? Did I not spell some mysterious right? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Which would win the most logical sound argument ever on the face of this earth? Nuh uh. Oh, sorry, that's just guardsman. I don't know how to. Sp I don't know how to voice a guardsman. He wasn't the idiot guardsman, so. Yo. <laughs> 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 oh throws candy in between them. And you see one of them chase after it. No, no, no. Oh, shit, candy. <laughs> yo, ho, yo, ho, times two. Oh, a piece of candy. <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> oh no it's the one with the mechanical arm run I can see that it's going to be an RP heavy session already <laughs> don't let him spank you run oh god <laughs> okay so let's go back let me see the turn order so he still got that up so uh, we ended I just off. went right Eric Hades just went so Dominic let go oh 
I take game. I, I suggest you much. step back, actually. By how much? Uh, let's see. Where's the where's the circle? Uh, Ten feet, I think. Yeah. Ah, oh, that circle. All right. Well, I'm gonna do a half move then. Because eight meters, that should be barely enough. Yeah, barely. And uh, what if I used my uh, actually? Oh yeah, I have the second in rounds with the uh, altar. Let's see. So that's half range, so plus 20. For some reason, I have plus 40 there now. Uh, I'm, if I'm going to take aim, it's going to be 10 then. All right, I'm going to aim at the he head against this dude. And I think it's going to be plus 10 overall. Half distance and have plus 20 base on my... Uh, Alter. I'm going to also use the side cannon rounds for this one. Does that sound good, Boko? You used the side cannon rounds on him, IRL. Whoops. Whoopsie daisy. So that's, I can only do four, four hits. Uh, six. No, because he's using a regular boulder. Ah, right. Which is maximum of four hits. Yeah. And since this is a tearing quality uh, weapon, you can reroll one. There you go. Thirteen. Can I? Can I do a character turn? Yes, I can. Uh, thirteen. Can't count for some reason. Twenty-four. Is there like a calc attribute where I could just say, calculate, here's the formula, go. Yes, it's called a calculator. I just want to type it in. Oh, that'll work. So you did 48 damage? Hold up, I missed it, that. And you, and 13, you're targeting, 24, targeting, 23, targeting. 11. There we go. You're, tar you're targeting his head? Yeah. Let me look at what they're... And penetration. And I use side cannon rounds, too. Sweet. Okay, so their head is 30. So 30 armor. And then you got a pin of what? Five. But I am using Sankin in rounds, and I can't remember their special ability. Double the roll damage. So that he... only against uh, demons? Uh, these guys are demonically tainted. They are, heavily. There's horns coming out of their helmets and such. Oh, okay. And, and they have tails. Oh, but to say, like, the normal, like, tusks you get on chaos stuff or so the road damage is if you look in the brackets you have you see the 2d10 that's the road damage basically but the dice you wrote those need to be doubled like obvious horns busting out of their helmet type of thing like demonic possessed stuff since he's hit he's counted visually as well the math comes out a little differently okay so, right so he absorbs what 60 of that or no. Is it two two separate damages there? It's or is four it separate. 
So it's 48, 71. That's the first hit. So one we get through? Or is uh, that counting also, armor? Five penetration. Okay, uh, so 25 minus oh, that. They also ignore any toughness bonus of uh, demonic stuff. Uh, he has... Uh, that's, let me go look at that. I think it's two or three. It still amazes me how much damage on average any of the bolters do compared to the melee weapons. Looks like it's like 10 toughness bonus because it goes like it's because they got 35 and then 45 at the bottom. So that's the uh, actual. So that'd be 15 armor then on the head. Oof. So he's taking 16 on the first. And then he's taking, uh, what is that? I'm guessing I did not do the math correctly. Nope. Minus 38. He might, I think he's dead. Yeah, that, that's a lot of damage coming into his noggin. He's, yeah, he's already at 26. So let's see. And so the next one is 41. Oh, perfectly, perfectly 26. Uh, so, and the last one does two damage, so he's dead. So describe how you kill this guy. It's too early for me. Oh, okay. Uh, the rounds just shatter into his head. Round, round, round. The last one goes through his eye slit, and you just see the remains of his brain start gurgling out of it. There you go. Sweet. Oh, I Okay. I just... Now I know why, how I calculated that wrong. Okay. Oh, wait. I, I did the first one wrong. I think it should have been... Uh... 20, 21, I think. Not very one. Okay, so then now it is Brasora, go. One last guy. This guy in the back. Oh, yeah, he has, he has eight health, so. Oh, well. Hold shot. Yeah. And he has like missing fourteen armor on the chest, seven on the arms, <laughs> if I recall. He's just I'm getting slashing away at this fucker. Right. It's like I may not be able to hurt you, but I can sure destroy your armor. I can't hurt you, but I can sure as hell hurt you. I can't hurt you, but I can sure as hell miss. And uh I'll that. Yeah, Tesseract guy lost a leg. I did, but my other leg is Robotic. bionic. Robotic, well, both yeah. your legs are your whole half of your body's bionic. Yes, the bottom half. So he's dead. Okay. Sweet. Describe right, how you kill him. Yeah. I shoot him in the back of the head. His skull melts. His eyes light up from the other side. Vanish. <laughs> That's the end of combat. Then he falls over flat on his face. Uh, did we hear that brothers is a trap run line? Or yes. was it? Okay. Yes. You all heard it because he was screaming it out to you as you guys were fighting. And who was screaming that as a guy at the top? Or... Yeah, you just heard it from the room. So From, from the room, you, okay. You didn't know which one, but you know one of them said it. So they know that you're there. I'm extinguishing the flames. Yeah, into a corpse. So are you are you helping are you helping him try to pat the fire down? Uh yes. Okay. Stop, drop and roll. So I uh, guess doing the agility check as you're touching him. Minus ten. I'm looking for uh while this is happening, I'm looking for alternative paths. Uh oh! <laughs> You're now on fire. Your arms up. You want to do a, a fate point? No, oh boy! No. No. You're gonna take it. 
your, your, your arm's now on fire as you're patting him out. By psychic blast him, will that put the fire out? Are you, are you, are you... Just throw a smite at him? You know? Are you legit, are you legit doing this? No. Okay, because your character knows what happened last time you messed with the fire. Psychic <laughs> or, or otherwise. Yeah, the more fire, but it spread, I know. Right. So... So, uh, kidding. What the fuck is this? Hold up. Speaking of some kind of weird little update thing, I'm a bobber. Anyways, what else? Okay, it's update series. I was like, man, what the? Okay. I would like to proceed forward, but yep. I cannot do it on my own. There's a brother that way still chained. We can assist him. And they say to stay away. It's a question. Right, because there's a demonic entity just around the corner, but I mean. Uh, everyone who just moved up in that hallway, a hey, dual will save. Minus minus fifty. Uh, and by up the hallway, how far up the hallway? Right here. Okay. That's where the edge of the AOE is. And this is a uh car thing, yeah. Uh, let me see what the what it's called. Cause it, it's like they had to make a will say blah blah blah. And then they get uh, ne negatives to the will saves on future rolls. Do you want to try to suppress it? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, your guy senses it for sure. Uh, and you said what? Minus fifty. Minus fifty on it. All right. So that's a minus twenty-one instead. Yep. I succeed. <laughs> go, Carson, go! Save us! So you're gonna, you're gonna uh, help me? I, 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 I fixed my name. Oh, God. Oh, God. So, and, uh, Prom, you're, you're on fire now. So, what are you doing with this, uh, at this point in time? You guys there? He's kind of biting life. Uh, he just took his headset <laughs> off. Oh, here's a question. So the the uh, area of the flamer said, is that all on fire on the ground? Yep. Still on fire, so I'm assuming you're avoiding that. Yeah, I'll just check back over that. Yeah, please don't fail your roll. So, question. Is this demonic presence we're rolling against? Yes. I'm immune. Sweet. You don't need to do it then. Cool. I suppressed it for everybody else, though. Oh, I don't need to do it then. Right. So everyone gets would get a plus 50 against their will save against this thing. Ooh, plus your plus 30 already. That's nice. Yep. Oh, you mean I was in, oh, I didn't include that plus 30. I was just doing normal psycho stuff. We have plus 30? Plus 30 against demonic entities, yeah. We still have those sigils slapped on us from before the mission started. So plus 80 then total then. In that you, case, you do have I got an additional points. 3 degrees of success. Right. And um Prom uh do another agility check. I'm assuming you're trying to pat the fire out or you, or you just let it burn. I think your mic is muted. Hang on a second. Oh, okay. No, it's... Yeah, it's still going. still burning on you. <clears throat> Alright. Um, I'm going to attempt to help uh, Krom put the fire out. Okay. So, and... agility check as soon as you come up there. 
if you're trying to pat it down, what are you doing? I'm exactly? going to try and pat it down using my uh, mechanical left arm. All right. All right. Uh, so what's the check for that? It's a agility oh, check. A second. Minus ten. <laughs> Uh, hang on a second. Yeah, North, uh, your fate points are replenished every session. So yes. So you still have three. Right now. All right, uh, so what is it, agility? Minus 10. Yep. Right. With a plus 10, because, you know, you're still in my possibility show. Oh, so it's zero then. Here we go. God damn it. I'm going to re roll that. I do not <laughs> want to catch on fire right now. Why are we trying to extinguish this fire? Because it's warp fire. Oh, my God. <laughs> yep. No, uh, I, uh. We're not in a vacuum. There we go. Right now, so if that doesn't yeah. succeed, <laughs> I think even the uh, warp fire uh, still burns in a vacuum, though, right? Didn't we learn that? Right, before? I'm saying I think so. I don't think we're in a vacuum now, so we could remove his armor while it's on fire and he'll still live. Is your character have like demon lore or anything like that? Uh, unfortunately, no. Okay. Not, I do. not until I can spend this juicy XP. All right, well, I did succeed the agility roll, so uh, does that mean I'm extinguishing? No, it means you're not on fire. Oh. So I have the ability to bless a flame or okay. flame weapon, but it makes it deal more damage. You gonna and try it's harder it. to resist. You going to try it? Uh, you're going to try it on Gavius since he's an NPC. I can only do it once. Well, okay. I mean, so. It's probably best. I like, uh, I like Yilmug's idea of removing the armor that's on fire. See, now, if it doesn't put the make the fire extinguishable, it will hurt demons real bad, though. Cool. Uh, it's not going to hurt a demon right now. Remove the armor. I mean, you can do it while we're removing the armor. So you're removing both the armors off the off Gavius and the other guy. Yeah. Who's the other guy? Yep. Gavius uh, said Crom. 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 His arm is on Krom fire. Crom tried to put it out, rolled a hundred, and lit himself on fire. Oh right. Yeah. And now it's like spreading up his arm. Yeah. Quickly, take your get your armor off. <laughs> and we'll. You'll need to take a while. Yeah, you're gonna need assistance to remove that piece, or you're gonna have to like have um Bob his arm off. No, uh, you can have um him take it off. He can remove it. I'm gonna Yeah. Can I do a tech use to see if I can yes. quickly remove the armor? Yeah, you Alright. Plus twenty. Plus twenty, alright. Hey, there we go. So I removed the first? armor. Cause Crom, Crom yes. it's pretty easy to take off. You just take off where his affected hand was, so now he has a left or right hand uh, unarmored. As Gavius, you see him starting to slowly get more engulfed. And he's starting to hear the panic in his voice. <laughs> uh, I'm going to do another tech use roll to remove the armor from Gavius. Minus 60. Minus 60, damn. He is pretty on fire at this point. That'll be minus 50 due to the uh, possibility shield. Oh, my God. Oh, boy. Wow. Well, you know Fabry what? rolled that with a plus 10. I am going to do that. And it's going to take you a while to take it all off. You guys are going to be in here for about, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes doing this. Watch the corridor. That's what I'm doing. Oh, my God. Well, I'm out of fate points, so uh, uh, you can have mine. mine. All right, uh, uh, I'm spinning mine. All Four. right, all right. Oh my God! Jesus. Here, take another one. All 
I came so close. Hey, there, there we go. Is. Brothers, it's do not come in this hellscape. This is just another Tuesday for me, honestly. It's fine. <laughs> so you're able to take Gabby's armor off barely in time, and you just see his armor just, like, smolder away. Damn. So. Well, the good news is there's plenty of armor over here. What, what, uh, you yes, about the Chaos some of Space it Marines? is still attached. No, I'm to talking about all the other dead uh, Death Watch over here. Oh, okay. I reject your armor and substitute my own. <laughs> we don't know if they're dead, so you guys getting closer to look? I am. Keep your wits above you. Um, we know the demon is just around the corner. I will be in front. I would like to check up on this space marine. And then I will check the one that's in a net. How do we do that? I would just like to just do like a glance over and see if like uh, what's the damages he so, sustained. No, so brother, that, he's still nearby. That, you must run. So that marine, you just see him like pinned against the ground with spears in each each arm, basically, kind of like crucified on the ground. And you just see just demonic symbols all around him, and. uh you see something on his face and on his chest. It looks like flesh or some other grotesque thing. But he's still moving. You hear grunting noises from them. Mm. I, I turn to look at Ericlides Eric and Brissora and ask them, can anything be done? Oh, yeah, I was going to do a... Uh... I mean, we could kill him. <laughs> that was pretty demonic tainted. Look, we were able to save the other space marine. We can probably save them as well. So, uh... Oh, God, was it? Sign of science roll to check them for taint and whatnot? I think so. Boca? Yeah. Alright, I'll use my last fucking fake point. <laughs> Yeah, okay. So, I'm pretty sure I know damn well what's around me. So you know that there is demonic taint all in this room. Uh, you do sense that these souls seem to appear to be still clean and fighting against this, this taint. They seem to be very hardened against this stuff. Cool. Ah, but it is slowly winning. You can sense that. Right. There's still time. Quickly, remove them from their restraints. <laughs> Destroy these symbols. All right. I break the spears and take them away, pluck them away from the arms. You guys all go in the room? Uh, before we do that, I'm going to activate one of my abilities. You should probably not go into the room yet, Tess. It is called Holy Radiance. All okay. allies of the faithful, they can both see and hear them, will gain immunity to demonic, to, to demonic presence, just as if they had pure faith now. Okay. Oh, nice. You also get a plus 10 to all fear tests, regardless of the source. Excellent. That's perfect, because that's exactly what this that AOE does. <laughs> all right, I'm releasing the guy in front of me. Uh, the guy in the net is different from the other ones. You see him, He has he's literally chain-bound on the ceiling. He's chain bound towards the ground, kind of like he's being stretched out. And there's symbols all over his armor, so he's different than the other one. Okay, but he's still felt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I don't know why. Other than, other than that, he seems untouched. I don't know why the Metal, metal Gear Solid uh, alert sound just. Uh, bring in my ear. That happens whenever someone joins. You can like do it like when you enter a chat. 
Oh, Discord chat. Yeah. I think okay. Norse has the button to do that too. You see that same Metal Gear sound? Is it not? It is I use that for email notifications? So I felt like I just got email from work. Damn. <laughs> Wait. Brothers, you guys no. I appreciate your efforts, but you have doomed us all. We should run. Yeah, we'll be fine. So you getting the rest of them too? Oh yeah. Yeah, save our brothers, yo. I'm gonna just stand here and protect you while we do that. Yeah, a lot of these guys are missing limbs. In fact, I'll just keep the arrows on them. So, long the missing legs and arms. And you see, like, uh, grotesque, demonic, skeleton-looking shit placed on them, like effigies, from their other Space Marine brothers. I kick like, them down. Oh, you keep them down on the ground? No, I kick one of the effigies down, basically stomp on it, or, like, just kick it away. Okay. I mean, it's like lashed on where the stump of their limbs were. So, are you just kicking it off them? Okay. You hear grunting as you do that. Ugh. Oh no, not their future demonic limbs. Right. So, who else is going in the room? Brother, do you have transport? Well, if we're lucky, it's in the room with that demonic entity. No, did I go that way? Look, we've killed worse. Perhaps. We literally killed two Contemptor Dreadnoughts brothers. I don't think there's much else well, to worry about. Well, 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 we also uh, fought a greater warp entity and a greater demon. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. We also yeah. had like a whole squad of librarians for that. Yeah. And, well, the greater and, warp entity, you didn't have a squad of librarians. And you no, but we, were fighting the demon. we did sacrifice that artifact, which did a crazy ton of damage against it. Sure. And we had to, you know, we finished the job, but point is, we still fought both of them at the same time and won. Yeah. Well, we didn't destroy the second Dreadnought. He just fell through the floor. Yeah. No, not that one. Anyway, about the warp we, entity and the greater demon. Our only yeah, means of yeah. escape that we know of, potentially, is in that hangar. So regardless of what we do, we either go through it or fight through everything again to try and find some other hangar that may or may not contain some vessel for us to leave. This is the last coordinates that we know of that has a drop ship that we can use. So we must go and face this thing. I concur, Brother Ericlades. So steer yourselves, brothers. Your fates are not over yet. Have faith in the Emperor, and you will see it through this day. The Emperor protects. The Emperor makes us do an awareness check. Yep. The Emperor protect, and he attack, but most importantly, he have our back. Oh, oh plus, plus 50. 50. Well, in that oh. case, I succeeded with five degrees of success. Yeah, Wait. I have succeed. Right, so you guys hear a massive explosion in that uh, room you guys came from, through that little area. If that makes sense. Yep. You know, generally, I, something... Yep, I going turn around and look at it. I would not do it. I would, uh, so the doors are blocked all around us, is that correct? That's correct. Yeah. Are you going up to a door? Do I see I'm just looking here. Oh, I see a... oh, sorry. Is there a way to seal the door down here? 
Are you looking for a door ceiling? Yeah. Uh, you see a panel, yeah. I activated. Okay, and one second. We should probably move. Warp fire plus ammunition storage. What do you think <laughs> happened? <laughs> well, that's not the ammo ammo store in that. It's the the one that was across like, the hall from it. Yeah, this yeah. is the ammo store up here. Yeah, the other one was like weapons, food. Uh, the Still, there were small arms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. All right. Once everyone's ready, we need to get this door open and face what's on the other side. Okay. Before this, this whole section of the ship explodes. Exactly. So, uh, let's see, Sergeant Teller. Okay, who else is going up the door? We could just expl explode the door. Okay, so as soon as you approach the door, go ahead and do agility. I would like to do acrobatics instead because I'm trained in that. We modifier. Uh, minus minus fifty on this one. Oof! Possibility shield. And let's see. Up to was it? There. Oh man, you guys are probably eating dick here. How many people is this? Is it just everybody in the corridor? Uh, how do I do the? Uh, can you do a ten degree arc and do it from here? Let me see. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let me. Let me. Here do it, I guess. and here. There's two spots here and here and. Straight ahead, and then the other one is up here. Oh, I am in the perfect spot to not get touched by any of this. <laughs> so, agility check. You failed. And then, yeah, you just see an arc of flame. How long is that again? Oh, uh, yeah. And then, also... Uh, let's see. Do it up here and right here. Coming yes, down. I'm still in the perfect spot to knock it in. Are you serious? That's hilarious. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dead center of the room. Doesn't get touched. You said 10 degree arc? Yeah, yeah. How how distant is it? That is the question. Uh, 30 meters? 30, yeah, about 30 meters from the, from the right. door. You just you just see like tiny little fists or not tiny little fists but big fists of space marines come out and blast flamers out of it in those directions. So everyone who's in those cones, just do a, go ahead and do agility check minus fifty. Very failed. Okay, yeah, this marine dies. Uh, uh, this marine he also dies. Cause Unless you guys are carrying can them. I, are you can, carrying I, them? can I do an agility check to get into the cone of fire oh. and protect with my power field against the warp flame? Sure. Uh, for Dominego. Does this count as an ambush? Yes. Alrighty. Then I make an agility test to act as normal in an ambush. Same. I'll actually do that as well. Sweet. I can do that, actually, yes. So you're going to take the full brunt of the, of the warp fire? I'm going to... Uh, can I attempt to tackle Dominego out of the way, perhaps? Maybe. Yeah. All right. I, I don't think that's an action you can do, but let me check. I can say it's a free strength action. Mm, strength check. Are you going to resist it, Dominego? No. Okay, so I'm just in shock with a fire about to hit me. Minus twenty. Oh, I mean, he'll block the rest of that cone if he blocks this, but he's gonna absorb all that flame damage. All right. Uh, the uh, power field may save you from your shield being on fire, though, possibly. So we'll see. Depends on your agility save. Agility. I need to do an agility save. Oh, speaking oh, of oh, which, oh, 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 having fire, succeeded right. that. Uh... Agility test act normally. Do we still have the minus 50? Not you, no. Does it affect everyone? No, that only affects 
the people that have it. Yeah. I love well, how enough, I think. Her, yeah, I love Heracles. He just must have had side signs like I should be here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a... it's perfectly safe. I will reroll that. No. <laughs> no. Okay, I succeed. Okay, because I was gonna say he's gonna eat dick too. So Dominic is saved. You block. You block that cone, and you saved on the agility. Uh, on the agility from the damage. Uh, so I did not. So let me see. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Yeah. So the initial one I did minus. If, yeah. If I don't have the minus fifty, then I would succeed because I did roll for the rapid reflexes, which allows me to move when I'm in ambushed, basically. So yeah, that I would got succeed. That got you in position to block it, and then agility for the actual fire itself. Yeah. I think it's agility for flam flamers, right? Yeah. Yep, yep. So you moved in position and you pushed him out of the way, and now you are trying to not catch on fire yourself. Mm -hmm. Minus minus fifty. Go. All right. Actually, I cannot succeed. Actually, no, I can succeed. So it's going to be a, a roll of a ten or lower. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Oh, so close. So, uh, yeah. And you you were using your shield, right? I am using my shield. That's correct. It, does it ha each have a, f a power field? It does have a power field. Yes. Uh, whatever roll you need for use that, use that to prevent it from catching on fire itself cuz you got hit. So, uh it goes through. <laughs> it goes right through and catches that shield on fire. So you're just holding that shield there for the time being? I am still holding it for now, yes. Okay. Yeah, you just see a concentrated fire on it, and... Might want to chuck it. Oh, let's see. How much armor does that thing have? The shield has four armor. Four Oh, yeah, it's destroyed then. Uh, let, me, let me get his weapon out. It does that much damage. Does after the shield is applied, shield's armor applied, or is the shield's armor not applied to this damage roll? So because uh, like I have a shield, and having a shield gives me armor to my character, so is it not... Uh, yeah, no, I'm saying your shield is destroyed. I'm saying, like... The shield takes a full part of the damage. And right, because I'm assuming that's what, that's what your guy did, just kind of toss that shield up to deflect that. Unless you you yourself want to take the damage, too. This so I, I got in, I uh, Dominic out of the way, and I just held my shield, and then once the warp flame hit, I just chucked it, or what happened? Whatever you want to do. Like, if you want to hold on to it, take the damage, you can. It'll stop the fire where it's at if you're sitting there taking that damage. But yeah, I the will stop it because there are people behind me as well, so uh, yes, I will do that. Yep, you can uh, add your shield, shield to the damage then. All right, uh, that's going to hit... Uh, I think it just hits torso. Torso. I don't take any damage. No, but you are on. You are now on fire with that horrible oh, warp fire. Yeah. Uh, I after, see. after you push me aside, I say thank you, brother. All right, let's see. Let's get Gavius as well. He needs to do a save. Oh, man, he just got put out. <laughs> right. Oh god, he's not wearing armor either. Poor nope. Gavis. Nope. He's probably he's probably dead. He's dead. Yep, he's, he's dead. <laughs> you just see him catch on fire. You just see him like melt away and just like where there was a space marine, there's just a burning husk of skeleton and flesh. And a horrible screech uh runs out. Uh who's this? Is that Ty Neil Tyron? Who? Where? Tyron's down here. Yeah, I am. Yeah, it looks like you're at the edge of it. I am at the edge of it. Uh, so it was uh, 30 meters. If it's 30 meters, it's uh, oh, outside. He's just, he's just out of it, yep. Yeah. So, and then, let's see. This space marine, he's also dead. <laughs> this one's dead, and this one's dead. Sweet. And yeah, that's the lanes of fire there. 
So you guys staying in the room, or are you guys uh, going to get out of here? I'm still Pull holding back, the fire. Brothers. Pull back. <laughs> we got to go the other way around. <laughs> Unless you can think you can open this door immediately, but still, it's safer to go around. Yeah, probably. Okay, and let's see. As you guys are moving, you see that door open up. He just oh, see... God damn it. I knew it. <laughs> oh, God damn it. I was about to move my token. Yeah. And you just see a hulking, demonic entity, right? Just pure demon with a little bit of space marine armor, tentacles, and all sorts of things. And he's holding up a Death Watch marine in his arms, or with his left arm. And he's looking at you guys, and he shouts, where is the artifact? Here's the artifact, and I throw an entire belt of crack grenades. <laughs> nice. This All right. is just three. Okay, uh, do it. Roll. Uh, modifier. Uh, minus 20. Possibility shield. Minus 10. Nice. Wait, is it range check for tech or is that strength check? It's a strength or check. Minus 10. I mean, you rolled a two or initially. No, 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 you already did the thing. You don't need to do the strength check oh, again. Oh, okay. You can just roll the damage now. It, it, Let's see, pen is 6, 22, he has 44 all over his body. I don't know if any of that gets through. Can I do that roll thing? I don't think any of that. I don't know, uh, man. I think a hit roll of a 2 hits his head. Uh, uh, 2? Well, that would be 20, I guess, wouldn't it? It would be 20. An arm. Yeah, right arm. Hold on, why is this being gay? Because it wants to be happy. Right. 40, yeah, 44 all across the body. Oh, jeez. And the head. He looks completely armored and gnarly. He is towering over Eclades. I think I just pissed him off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should probably <laughs> run. I don't think you pissed him off at all. I don't think he noticed. <laughs> yeah. It just it blended into the flames that are already there. He just got confused a little. So he, he looks at you puzzlingly. He says again, and he holds up his, uh, you see a giant flaming sword. And he holds it to the throat of that space marine. Where is the artifact? And he's looking straight at you, the one who threw the crack grenades at him. Are you guys going to sit here and talk with him, or are you guys going to run? Uh, I think we uh, should run. Well, I think discretion is the better part of valor. <laughs> I would like to go back, but I'm the one holding the shield, so please go back behind me. <laughs> Ooh, the wrong one. Yeah. yeah, this guy's over here doing his flamer bullshit, but yeah, that's the big bad baddie. You said he's holding a giant flaming sword? Giant flaming sword. Are these guys going to move, by the way? Or the, the NPC? All oh, right. Oh. oh, boy. Should I do something really stupid? Go for it. So I've got an ability that allows me to bless a blade. It will deal 1d5 energy damage to anybody who is unclean basically has high corruption or is demonic. Save it. Cannot be reduced by armor or toughness. Oh, it just man. takes 1d5 damage every turn as long as he holds it. Got it. However, I have to touch it. <laughs> you you going to YOLO over there? It's going to be a minus 60 to YOLO over there with your jetpack. I'd have to YOLO over and back. That's minus 60 there and then minus 40 back. And he would just be able to drop it and not take the damage. I don't think you're going to uh, do it. Possibly. At least he wouldn't have his big fuck-off sword, right? 
I'd save it. I can I can do it later when he's in a more agile. Yeah, right. Yeah, just position. just move back. Yeah. Just, yeah. just move back. All right. So I get this door open. <laughs> kind of just in a backward motion, just kind of trying to take the brunt of the f- damage right. if it comes our way. All right. All right. Who's open the door? Uh, are there any like windows in the door to see what's past the door? The door I just closed the way we came. I, are you gonna yeah. listen to see if there's anything on the other side, or use a side science or something? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll use side science. Yeah, because they're demonic. Most of these guys are demonic and tainted. So minus twenty. You know, no, you notice nothing. Phil, you can have my fate point if you want. All right. Uh, there. Okay. Uh, you definitely sense there's the chaos marines on the other side. Not like the ones that are in that hallway you just came from, but they're definitely there. Like the ones in the upper levels. How many? What was your role? Four degrees of success. Uh, you know there's at least four in the hallway and possibly more elsewhere in this room. Uh, cool. Sure, there's only what? There. There's only what? Two of those big guys again? <laughs> Are you thinking of going back? There's three. Well, oh, three. Oh, there's three? Okay. Well, Two big well, guys and a bigger big guy. Yeah. Also, uh, flames came from the north. Also, the, so there's also right. another two dudes to the north too. Yeah. Kind of feels like a trap, guys. Oh, I mean, <laughs> it was basically screaming it, but we, we had to try and save him. And you, and you did. Try to save him. I think you did. I think you saved him. You saved you one. Saved them so they could all die. Yeah. Now three died. There's one left. Wait, well, there two? We, we also lost Galvinus. Galvius. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, actually, save two. Two are alive. I see I have two tokens here. Yeah. Because there was one, like, okay. here and then the other dude that we saved. So, that was over there. These fires are still burning up here where they shot, uh, right? That's correct. You just see the flames kind of like sitting there, melting the ground, spreading yeah. a little bit. Yeah, no, we need to keep moving south. And I'm going to try something. Oh, okay. I'm going to bless the flames. Nice. <laughs> you're going to do what now? <laughs> I'm going to use flames of faith and bless that warp fire. Okay. Do you have the roll for anything? No. Bird's hotter. Inflicts an additional 1d10 damage on all those that come in contact with it. Uh, also, a minus 10 to agility tests to avoid burning. Is it ranged, and or or does it needs to be touched, or something? The it doesn't has. say. I f- uh, since you can bless a flamer, I don't think you need up to, to it. twice my fellowship bonus meters in diameter, so he's bl- ten meters. He's blessing the flame. So as he does that, you just hear uh, grunting to the north, and just like uh, sounds like. Explosions. <laughs> Oh, it's also deadly to demons. It inflicts another 1d10 damage and counts as a holy attack. Yeah, you just and holy hear attacks kind of bypass toughness from what I remember. Right. And you can see this one, can't you? You just see that guy go up in flames. The guy on top? The one holding the sword? <laughs> No, 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 not the one holding the sword. You see the one, the, the flamer to the top, because there's, there's three of them. So the one holding the sword's in the center. The one at the top was another one. You just see, because everything, basically, I, I turned all the colors of all the flames that were touching. Mm-hmm. Holy fire. You just saw this guy explode, and there's no way he can absorb all that damage. So they just spontaneously die. Damn. He spontaneously combusted. Yeah, and holy fire. You see them just... Uh... <laughs> and the flame feels cool to you, Moth. Cool Ooh. to touch. Sister Brazora, that, that, uh, that was a pretty hot move. 
I shoot Tesseract in the back of the head. <laughs> <laughs> With the boulder. No. Like, like, Ow, what was that it. for? No, Tess, it's not a it's not a hot move, it's a cool move now. <laughs> Alright, I shoot I shoot him in the back of the head as well. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. So what are you guys doing? Well, we either open the door to the south and go around and face a whole bunch of spa evil space marines, or go that way and fight giant space marines. Probably less of them now. Yes. We really need to fight both. If we go to the south, we need to fight everyone. If we go to the north, we might just need to fight the demon. The south, so, if we go to the south, we have the element if we aim down and the Psyker uses his unfettered abilities, we might clear them out in the first round or two. Oh, oh definitely. Well, I also have the heavy bolter that I can use to the south. And you still have to worry about the guys coming from the north to get you. I can hold the guys to the top. Also, we can just close the door, presumably. That will hold them for a round, maybe. Well, Figure. they could also just do the same trick and throw flame against us, which is going to fill the room full of flame. That's why we go up to this door and just kind of bundle up and charge into the next room. So, Moth, are you talking about the, the, the flames that you blessed feel cool? To oh, yes. I should also tell you I uh, blessed these flames up here. They're, uh, the Emperor will guide us through these flames. So you're going to step into it, Moth? You're going to take a full leap of faith and step into yep. it? All right, right up here. And nothing happens. Damn, that shit was fire. All right. I feel that's our better way now. I mean, it's one less of those guys. Still this door. Like, Plus, I don't know, shoot the control panel so it doesn't open. We could bang around the corner and they won't be able to cross these flames easily. <laughs> you should say it because you hear banging at that door uh, already to the south. Oh, in that case, I'm going to uh, unfettered uh, throw a shark thing right here. Oh my god, of course you would. And they're going to be on fire too, aren't they? Yep. Nice. Yeah. My bullets can shoot th uh, go through the door, right? Uh, awareness? You're trying to examine the door uh, scrutiny, scrutiny. Scrutiny? Mm, I think it would be like more of a lore. All right. Uh, He's uh, just kind of like looking at it and uh, making a quick assessment before he plugs his gun in the, in the door. That'll be like minus 20. Hey, that's unfortunate. Uh, door big bulky. I can't shoot through this. <laughs> And then Eric Ladies is dealing 30 points of damage. They call it a bulkhead yep. for a reason, brother. Yeah. So you just hear a lot of screaming. Twice. Of, yeah, because it happens it. twice. What's the what's the radius on that? Uh, six meters. Yeah, you hear a lot of scream, a lot of agony at the door. Ah! I'm this time down here. Yep, a lot of screams and agony at that door. And the flame. Uh, who's who's on the flame here? Who is this? Yeah, that's warp fire, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm assuming Chrome. I'm assuming Chrome's not in it. Yeah. So as that's happening, you see the flames expanding. Oh yeah, because he used a warp ability in warp fire. So oh assuming... yeah, they're fucked. All right, yeah, we can't go south anymore. We have to go north. <laughs> yep. I think he just completely burned the south area. Yeah, but they're definitely not coming through that way. Let's go quickly <laughs> before we burn to death. Oh, uh, we could probably um, do the same thing with the fire in the south. But like, uh, yeah, can we? So says you can only bless fire once. Oh, okay. Uh, so if the fire is blessed, will yes. like part ways? Oh yeah, that one didn't cost a thing. Yeah, he kind of goes up to the edge of the flame and looks at you, like you. There is no escape, is what he tells you. Where is I flip him off and shoot him with my melting gun. Okay, go for it. Uh, does the <laughs> blissed flame uh, burn us, by the way? No. We're no. Okay. okay. Yeah. Who's testing it? Someone? Yeah, you're fine. Well, someone just stepped in it. I, I mean, mean you're, I'm already in it. You're I, on. I already saw someone step into the fire, so I assume it's safe. Yeah. I'm literally just sitting in the fire shooting around the corner right now. Yeah, yeah. but you're a sister of battle. We're space marines. I don't know. The emperor protects all his children. You just see this demon toss this guy and go ahead and do your damage moth.
44 oh, nice. to what? Uh, 48. That's chess. That's chess. Oh. With okay, a 20 so... penetration. So also, takes... these are holy weapons. Oh, so how much damage does he take? I don't know. What, does holy do anything bonus against these guys? Yes. I would assume so. <laughs> They're demonic as fuck. It does. Yes. Um, is it double? So minus 88 then? So minus, so 20. So he has 44 armor. Minus 20. So he has 24 armor. So uh be minus 60. Oof. Ow. He looks extremely pissed off to you. Hey, roll for initiative. Yeah, so Holy ignores the unnatural characteristic of demons, essentially, for the purpose. So basically, if they have a natural toughness of like eight, then that's nullified. Yeah. So this guy... By the way, I, I had turned my possibility shield off. Uh, I needed movement. Right. Even though now I've moved right back to where we were before, but it's fine. They got a 13, and then... Prawns were awfully quiet. I think he, he, said, uh, he, he said he muted so he wouldn't be screaming. He uh, DM'd uh. me and said he won't be talking this session. Oh, okay. Oof. Is it something I said? No. Oh, okay. Something's going on over there, I'd imagine. Don't worry about it. Just play like nothing happened. Wait. By the way, anyone who stepped in the holy fire is now on fire themselves. What? I thought the holy fire, we could just walk through it without any... You're... Yeah, you're on fire still. You're, you're on fire? Can... Is it doing any damage to you? No. That's the bigger question. No, or... it, feels, it feels cool. Oh. Cool to the touch. Here's the bigger question. Does that fire do anything to them? Right. Well, they have to get into it flaming first. hugs. Obviously, it did because, like, what three of them spontaneously exploded. Question Cause... number two: uh, Does this blessed fire interact with the warp fire that's on me still? Because I, I, I think I still was on a fire from that previous flamethrower attack. Does that convert into a blessed fire as well, or what, what happens you, now? Are you trying to touch the other fire with your fire? No, because like uh, when my shield got. Burned, I got burned as well, and I think I got set on fire. Your shield's on fire, it got destroyed. Yeah, I mean, unless you're holding on to that burning, hulking shield, are you talking so about your non functional? Yeah, are you talking about yourself going into the fire and does it put it out? Yes, so so the fire on the shield is gone when if I step into this holy fire, yeah, uh, but your shield is completely useless though, it is melted to high heavens. Got it. So there's holes in it. It's <laughs> barely held together, I, and you're just holding it for whatever reason. I guess because you're attached to it emotionally. Got it. So whatever you want to do with the shield, so uh, yeah, I will drop it. <sighs> Sweet. Okay. And then everyone, did everyone get their uh, sorting order going? Yeah, I got initiative. Seems like it. Okay, Prasora, go. Shoot him again! Hey. Cause ow, that hurt. Oh, where is that? Seventy. So I don't think he's taking any damage there. Uh, right to the body again. Goddamn. Yeah. Oh, well, uh, it's a holy weapon. Oh, that's Just, right. You did righteous fury with your last attack, by the way. Oh, he did? Yeah. Oh, I did roll a 10, yeah. Yeah, do it. Keep going. Let's count that as the Righteous Fury, then, huh? Yeah. Sure. Okay, then uh, roll your other damage. So that's... Let's see. Let's get the calculator out, so... Well, but like, like the one he just rolled could have been his Righteous Fury one, so you can now do your actual attack for this turn. 24, and then minus 34, so 10 gets through. Another chest shot. Okay. And for how much? Uh, 36. No Righteous Fury. But remember, 10 of 20. 
Yeah. Oh. And holy. Right. Oh, it's double the damage, isn't it? Yep. For both of those. Okay, so minus twenty four, and then he gives another minus ten, and then he he is hurting. Should be what twenty eight and uh, thirty thirty two damage. Just then. Yep. Karnoff, go. All right, since I don't have a silly little sword a shield anymore, I can actually wield my sword properly now. Uh, let's see. The one on the bottom is the normal one. Yes. Yep. Okay. Yep, he has a flamer too, so. I will try to... Yes, I'll just try to attack against him just to bind him. Are you and... are you going through the, the, that fire of his? Is it still going? I thought I just blocked it. And it's kind of... You okay, blocked okay. it, but it, you blocked it and it stopped there where the little shape is. That's where it stops. Stop right at your token. All right. Uh, I have a jump pack. I can just jump over it All right. and just go to the to the guy. All right. Sweet. All right. I'll just do a charge attack against him and that will be hit. And that will be uh, this amount. I think I hit. Yep. Let's see if he parries it or something. Oh, he will. He's going to. Oh, he does he not. He does not. That's crazy. But uh -oh. if you remember. Boop. Multiple parries. Yep. So. Well, that just means he can parry different attacks. He doesn't get two parries on the same attack. Yeah, um, let me see how Blade Master works again. I'm pretty sure it's just you just get a, a reaction for multiple attacks. Blade Master, Blade Master. Uh, he says it's reroll one melee attack per round, which is not a parry. Yeah, it's only a missed attack. It does not count for parries. Uh, Wall of Steel, on the other hand, is uh, an attack which allows you to do plus one additional parry per round, but it is only against a different attack, so you can only reroll uh, the same parry you just did. So, yes. Okay, oh, okay. so you failed. All right. The damage. The damage. Uh, where am I hitting him? 73, 37, that's chest. Yes, uh, 45 armor, I presume, on a chest. Yep. It takes six damage. He looks uh, unamused. Eric, ladies, go. All right, cool. After I recover from accidentally hitting the back button on my mouse, um, I will unfettered or push the limit rather. Watch out for the warp fire. I don't know. I'm pushing the limit to do uh, a Jaws. Boom. Circle. Bam. Uh, maybe here. Uh, we can get closer to this guy. Yeah, right here. That way it gets both of them without touching Karnoff. Um, and as I said, I'm pushing the limit on this one, so I will roll on the fun chart of happy fun times. I'm almost curious to see what that would do to the Holy Fire. Okay, good. I succeed. And that is going to be 9d10 damage. Uh, 
damage. Oh, I'm my. Gonna, I'm going to fate reroll that. Sure. Yeah, it's pretty low. Okay. Oh, my. Okay. Oof. Well, you got six points more. Yep. Well, here's the thing. There's no pins. So I didn't do anything. Right. It, 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 he kind of just looked at it, looked at you, and it snarled. Yep. It literally did fuck off. Oh, here's a question. Since I was hitting the the other dude with a melt -a weapon, did I do anything to his armor? Cool. Nah, this guy, you don't see any visible damage to his suit. Whatever. Fair enough. So, if you just see unnaturally uh, take damage and heal itself. That's the best way you can describe it to others if you had to describe it. All right. And then uh, pure blackness surrounds us until the end of the round. Uh oh. And uh, so they can't they can't see you. Yep, we can't see them either. Okay. So the only one they can see is Karnoth here. Uh, I can still also move, so in. Now they can't see him. So Karnoth, you're going to be attacked. But they're blind while attacking you. Uh, yeah, I think it's like a minus... Let me actually check. There is a thing about blind fi fighting. Okay. Um, I think it's like and a this darkness, And this darkness goes away at the end of the round. So as soon as we start the new rounds, it goes away. Okay. So what, what's the minus? Minus what, 20 then? Uh, I'm checking. I'm trying to find it. Uh, uh, Erequides, wouldn't the darkness end on your turn? No. It it ends until the end of the the, the round. Ah, or it lasts okay. until the end of the round. Minus Got 30. It. Also, it ending on my round seems weird. He still hits. Unless him. you're talking about my my turn on the next round. Well, I, yeah, oh. your turn on the next turn. That's kind of what I'm yeah, well, It makes sense, but as written, it ends at the end of the round. Got it. Okay. It's probably after dude moves. Is that dude? Yeah. Oh, whoops. <clears throat> Do you, yes. Does that does that negate special abilities if it hits? You gotta do a will save check, I imagine. Uh, so that depends on how the weapon works. If it's just on successful attack, yes. Uh, it, that's a, that's an unsuccessful attack. That's just a parry. Mm -hmm. Or is it a successful attack actually? Yeah. Because mm. even with your minus what thirty, it'd still be two point seven. No. Yeah. But, but I mean, is that successful attack is. Yes. I'm not sure if it counts as if it's like actually hits and deals damage or if it just exceeds. That's what the difference I'm trying yeah, to Yeah, yeah. Find. I'm trying, trying to think. I don't want to screw you with uh, with this thing if it totally negates even special abilities like will says and whatever. I'm trying to success. Yeah, I'm looking at the book too. Give me a second. I'm assuming since you parried it, you're not gonna you didn't get hit, so let's just let's just continue on. So I'm gonna assume mm -hmm. you're not gonna get hit by that. Which seems fair. And then let's see. He is going to attack you now, the other guy in front of you. He said minus thirty. Yep. Yep, F all. Crom, go. You make a melee attack, it will be at a minus 20 because of the darkness, unfortunately. But if you're charging, it's at least a plus 10, so it'll be just a minus 10. Okay. 
Oh, nice. Not nice. You can always fate reroll it for an extra plus 10 on that roll. You have three points. They are recharged every session. Yep. So you should have three that you can use still. On what? On the session, they were not used at all. Last oh, session, he may, yes. he may have used them all on trying not to catch fire. Ah, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, makes sense. Yep. Got it. Oh, yeah, you have four fate points. That's part of your uh, thing. Not anymore. Oh, hey, cool. Somebody else who has four. We can share fate points as well, yes. Yeah, true. Oh. I can give you one of mine if you want. I'll give you, I'll give you one of mine too. I marked mine down. There you go. All right. All right. Okay, uh, I guess Neil Tyson, go. All right, so I'm way the fuck back here. Uh, let me do a dank ruler. So I'm slowed. I'm guessing that means I can only do a half, half. move. Yep, that's it. Let's see what my half move is. And you're kind of you're kind of hopping on your one leg. I'm assuming you brought your other leg, or are you just leaving it behind? Because you gotta move. No, I left that shit behind. I'm just gonna move up into here, and the holy fire doesn't hurt, right? No. All right, cool. I'm enveloped in holy fire. All right, that's my. Though turn. where that sword hit your leg, you just see it like uh, eviscerate that area. Did something. What? You just notice a <laughs> sizzle down there. Right where your leg was, you notice it's sizzling. Brothers, my leg, it's sizzling. And that's my turn. I'm amazed you can <laughs> see anything in this darkness. <laughs> well, he would hear it. Yeah, fair. Here's a question. Can we still see things in the warp fire? Or the holy fire? You would see the holy fire, I would imagine, but it's a darkness and veil of darkness. That's everything. It's like a big old cloud of bullshit. Mm. Okay, uh, Neil, Ty Neil Tyson, go do your thing. No, I did. I, I moved. That was my turn. Dominagus, go. Well, uh, it's, I'm in darkness, so I will not be able to see these guys, right? No. Even if I move. Left side of the darkness. Uh, so you yeah, do know so that they are there. You know they're, you know they're there. So be uh, minus, minus thirty. You also know they're really big. Right. You just aim higher. Yeah, you can't do cold <laughs> shots. So good luck. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll try aiming. Minus, so oh, let's see. Minus 30. Minus 30. Yep. Plus however much for them being a big target? Yeah. Uh, they're, like... bigger, they're bigger than Eric Fades. So the demon is bigger than Eric Fades. The other one is pretty pretty stout, about as tall as him. Uh, the other one is clearly, clearly bigger than him. Are so they the whole... enormous or hulking? We are hulking, just so you know. So if it's bigger than hulking, they are enormous. Uh, the other one, an enormous is plus twenty. Right. So the other one's hulking. The other one, this one's enormous. Like I said, size bigger than you. Minus ten, and then I have base twenty, so it'll be ten plus ten. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and his armor is forty-four from head to toe. So that the big guy. Well, let's see. If this will work. Sweet, do your thing. I and don't think so. 
Well, these but, are also psych rounds too, so double it. Uh, let me do the math. Plus one fury on one of them. Yeah. Okay, so one one would have possibly gotten through if I did the get a calculator. Yeah, looks like one will. Only one went through. So the first one is thirty nine point five. Uh, you can also do the one D, like the the reroll thing because it's a tearing weapon. You can do oh. the roll additional forty tens. Oh, that's actually going to be all right. The first damage. Then let me redo that. Uh... And then uh, let's see. So it's first one might get absorbed even with the. With its... 39 pin so, 5, I think. The, so, that, no, the, the first one's going to be 43 pin 5, actually. With, uh, okay, that gets... Okay, so that's 43. Uh, the rest, I don't think they will do damage. So 39 and, minus 43. That's, uh, 39 is the 44 minus 5. So that's 4 points of damage to do against them with the first shot. And then I have Righteous Fury. And then the other ones don't go through at all. Uh, uh, let me see. Actually, I can't have Righteous Fury. I'm maxed out on Rite of Fire. Ah. Let me quickly see. Uh, God damn it. I hate Because yeah, he has 44 minus 5 would be 39 armor total. So then, then the first shot was 43. That actually did damage. Because if it was 39 pin 5, that, that would do nothing. So I presume 33 pin 5 does not go through. So, so he needs to roll what thirty nine and uh, and above to hit him, yeah. or they do the deal damage. Forty three did four damage. Yeah, so anything above thirty nine damage will will pierce him and deal damage. So yeah, thirty nine break shot. even. Yeah, thirty nine would be break even. Like his armor just saved him, and then so it'd be forty and above to actually deal eight point of damage for him. Jeez. Okay. All right. Yeah, Bersora oh, go. It's something. It is and, definitely something. Well, Moth freaking just blasting this guy to hell. He's like specifically designed against this stuff. Fuck this. <laughs> right. He's like, F you demons. Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> he did because this guy started off with a ton of health and he is almost dead. He does. You do sense Moth that he can't take much more. Of whatever you're doing. Nice. So, new turn, Darkness Ends, or is it still up? I am my turn. Yep, Basara go. And then, uh, Eric Hayes, you said on the new round and your turn, or just new nope, round? As soon as the round starts, it goes away. Okay. So, cool, I'll cool. get rid of that. Where's that hit? Oh, oh, I rolled a 92. Oh, you don't do any damage. Oh, it does double damage. So. Yeah. Where does it hit, though? Uh, it hits to 29. Hey, it hits an arm. I think that arm is gone. Uh, so that's he has 44 armor all around. So 44 minus 20 minus 20. So that's 24 then... minus the 24 damage. So he takes 24 damage. Yeah, because it's awesome. doubled. Yeah, he, yeah, he lost an arm. What was the arm? Was it again? Uh, left. Okay, so you just see his left arm just disappear. Like, no bloods, no guts. Just it just disappeared, and he kind of looks at it, and he looks at you, snarling. Karnoff, go. All right, let me let me do my thing. And that should be this. This. And this. I guess the, the bottom guy. Is he going to try to parry, or? One second.
Nice. Failed. Well, he has multiple parries, remember? Yeah, so he has one of steel. He can do additional parries against the attack. All right, fairly, he has one more parry. And he got At hit least. three times. Unless he's uh, some BS hey, he demonic one stuff. Hit. No, right. so he so just he, got three. So he blocked one of them. Right, because yeah. they have like they all have a little tentacle thing, and they had a little flamer on their shoulder. They kind of look like the predator a little bit in that regard. Uh, let me see, eighty-one. They have the same armor all around their body, right? This Forty-five, guy. forty-five, and thirty on the head. Okay, so the first one's not on the head. It's okay. Or actually, let me double check these guys because I think it was yeah, their armor was weaker on the head. Uh, 35 or 45 on, on their body and armor, uh, and, and like limbs? 45. I have 45 down, 30 on the head. Okay. And the demon demon prince there is 44 uh -oh. all the way around. Ooh, nice. All right. And the third one is going to be also on the leg. Oh, no, the arm. Doesn't do damage, but I can just roll again. Sweet. Doesn't get through. Okay. Anything else? Uh, that's going to be it. Eric, please go. Okay, I'm going to charge over to here and attack the one Karnoff is attacking. I'm going to make wait just a tad bit. There you go. Let's see here. So, charge plus 10. Two of us attacking him, plus 10. He's a big boy, plus 10. He's a chaos marine, plus 10. So, plus yes. 40. Do you have double team talent? Uh, no, I do not. All right. If it was Anseus, I would, but I do not believe I have that on this guy. Are you spanking? You... What are you doing again? Are you spanking him, or what are you doing? Yeah, I'm charging. Oh, uh, so, and then add 1d5 holy damage. Well, first I have to hit him. Here. I do. He's already parried, so he can't parry it. Now, uh, I am using a force staff, so I'm going to attempt to... Um, I'm doing an opposed roll against him. Uh, an opposed willpower roll. And for every degree of success I have over his... Oh, you're um, attacking the, the demon prince, right? No, 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 the one uh, Karnoff is attacking. So the one, this guy. All right, yeah, what did he roll? He rolled a five. Okay, that's definitely better than my 75. I do have a, a fate point to give, if you want it. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I'll take it. All right. Oh, you know what? Can we use that to force him to reroll his instead? Sure. Then we'll do that instead. Because I would have to roll less than a five to really beat him, but... Ooh. There you go. Okay. Well, that's not actually any full degrees of success, so it didn't help. <laughs> So I don't do any extra damage. Well, and, if you have uh, another fate point, you can re-roll yours because you rolled a 75. So all you have to do is just roll higher than a 75 there. If someone wants to give me another fate point. But. Because I've, I've spent mine. Yeah, I'm out of I've fate points. Mine. Sorry. Yep. Yeah. So it's, it's not worry about it. Uh, and it, it won't matter what damage I do. I won't hurt him. Unless that holy damage. Wait, see, 1d5 holy? Yeah. And on top of whatever your damage is.
Okay, do you, you deal one point of damage? Yep. And that'll be it. And it goes through his armor. You see it. He's caught on fire, so. Cool. It'd have been real cool there, but no. Okay, uh, it is their turn. So the Demon Prince is going to attack Prom since he's in front of him now. Because if I had succeeded in my attack, or my willpower roll over his, then all of my damage would have ignored his armor and toughness. Hey, Prom, you gonna you gonna parry that? Block it? You just absorb it. Got it. There's not much you can do. Let's see. And then uh, the Chaos Marine is going to attack you. The one who just attacked him, he's going to attack you. So me. Yes. Cool. So, oh. yeah, he tries. He tries. Tough break. <laughs> yeah, he didn't get anything super bad, but he kind of he kind of gets caught off balance trying to attack you. And then let me move some guys around. Blah 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 blah. And then Crom, go. Paint reroll. He's he, no, he's spent all of it. All right, Neil yeah. Tyson, go. All right. Um, let's see. Wait, no, no, actually, if, if oh, he get, just a regular yeah, check. No, he gets uh, yeah, blade master, yeah. Yeah, true. Oh, yeah, blade you can re -roll it. Go and for since it. Since he's uh, in close One combat, he can do three attacks because he has One. lightning attack. Oh yeah. yeah. Nice. Roll them attacks. Reached one. Right, it's so one hit. Right, and then uh, roll one d five, ten, seven. Where does that hit exactly? Body. Body. Yeah, 50. So, okay, he just absorbs that, and then wouldn't he takes it, uh, three, wouldn't it three damage holy damage. Not this, not this guy. Oh, okay. You just see it kind of absorb into him. Cool, but he did three holy damage, fire damage, and he's now on fire where where that hole is that he put. Oh, nice. And you kind of see the demon kind of patting at it with his one good arm. Can you do aimed strikes with melee? Yes. So, you could. Uh, next time you attack, you'll want to do an aimed strike against his face. He did. Well, he his did three... head has the same armor as the rest of him, so it wouldn't oh, be he... much. Oh, this guy does? Yeah. Oh. Him. Okay. He's the special dude. Gotcha. Wonderful. Actually, no, your most damage you can do is 35, pen 7, but yeah, it still would not go through. No, you're hitting him with Holy Fire. He literally did three damage. The damage ignores his armor. Yeah. And There's he's still on merits. fire now. Yeah, he's, on, he's literally on fire. Better than nothing. You know, death by a thousand paper cuts. Right. I mean, he is also a boss fight, so he's going to be freaking hard as nails. Okay, Dominicus, go. Okay. Wait, you skipped me. Oh, oh. did I? Yeah, you, yeah, you did. It's all right. Uh, let's see. 
So I think I think Crom rage quit. Seems yeah. like it. Is he, is he okay there, Tesseract? Did I do well, something? The, the last thing he put in uh, Discord is he's super angry at the moment. Just we don't know if it has anything to do with us or not. Just it's don't scary. don't it's worry possible, about it. It's possible he lost internet or power. No, he's yeah. just very mad about his roles. All right, don't worry about it. It's just something that Norsk does. Um, I knew it would happen eventually, but it's not anyone's fault. It's just, just how things are. Anyway, uh, I'm going to. I don't, I don't see what? in the list for some reason. Yeah, he uh, left. You're yeah, but oh yeah, I guess. Oh, this thing got fucked up. Okay. All right. Neil Tyson, go. I'm moving up to this big demon fucker guy, and. Uh, I'm going to take a swing at him with my start a servo arm and I'm going to do a crushing blow attack. So right. what's the uh, modifier on the two hit? He is a monstrosity. Uh, so so he's huge. Uh, plus 10 because you're outnumbering, plus 10 because you're charging, uh, plus 10 because it's, he's big. And then if you have any like traits which give you plus 10 to do against demonic, then also that. Let's see. No, it would be just plus 30 then. Jump. And... Damage time. Add 1d5 holy fire to him. Pow! To what? Then, uh... uh right leg. I think he might possibly... Be dead. Possibly. Oh, that would be insane. The Demon Prince? Amazing. So, minus... So he has 44 minus 10. Oh, yeah, and it has... Uh, so, that, so that'd so that be 34. So he has 34 armor. And then you're dealing 55 damage. So I think so, he... So 31 damage. So I think he is dead. He is dead, so... Or banished, I should say. Well, hang on. Uh, okay, he only yeah, has 14 HP. He has 14 HP. Yeah, he... he Cobra just did 24 damage. All right. Him, so he's. I uh, uh, I grab I grab his leg with my servo arm, and uh, clamp down on it until uh, it gets flattened enough to where I can just rip it off. So I tear his leg off. Yeah, uh, and, and he becomes paralyzed. Yeah, he engulfs in holy flames, and he goes okay. back to the hell from which he came. There we go. That's a lot of damage. Yep. Uh, Dominguez, go. Damage. All right, I'll fire this guy. Holy yeah. fire for the blood god. I mean, that was a team effort. I was hoping he'd hit one of y'all because that would be. Let's see if he if he actually hit one of y'all. Let me ask if he could survive this. Let's see. That's the third greater demon we banished. Nice. Holy shit! That would kill people. It's like instant critical damage right there. Right. 3d10 plus 30? Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and looking at the book, that's not far off like what his actual weapon is. His is 2d10 plus 25. But I did. I was like, I'm going to modify this. This is a little bit different. So 3d10 plus 15. But yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Well, you've gotten 15, a 15 and then a 16. Right. And his so is... Yeah, because that's that's also shrink. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right, oh, so I did yeah. a half move. Okay. And then, uh, then I can uh, then I sh shoot him. So he's big, so plus twenty, a half range, forty. Then my gun, sixty. Yeah, he's a yeah slightly bigger than you, but not enough to notice. He's about as big as Eric Clay's oh. character. It's a Hulk. Oh, he's not bulky. He's not, no, that was the Demon Prince. He was huge. He was monstrosity. Okay. All right. Um, then it's plus 40. I thought he was huge, so. <laughs> he is, but not not enough to be, like, bonus bonus time. Right. That's that's what I was yep. thinking. Yep. Uh, am I missing any modifiers? Half range. You not are fighting uh, firing into melee. Like, we are in melee, so you have, like, a minus, minus 20. 10 or 20 or something. Yeah, yeah minus 20. Mm -hmm. 
So, are you dipping your weapon in that holy fire and blasting with it? Uh, that's a good idea. I Who's do that. that? Okay. <laughs> free, free action, you just dip your gun in there and all the ammo. <laughs> and then, uh, fire. Plus 20. Yep, and then 1d5 holy damage per hit. Are you using the psychic Psych Yes. So it's double damage, so it's 30. 29. Right? I don't think that 29. goes 29. It's 12 times 24 plus 5, 29 plus 5. Uh, 29 plus 5 pin. Now, are, you target, are you targeting the head? Uh, I, I did not target, so okay. whatever the... Uh, so that, so. Yeah, so there's nothing. He has That's forty. He has forty-five, but he does take holy holy damage of one d five. So roll one d five. He already did. Yeah, Which two. Is two. Oh, two. Okay, so and then I guess someone go for Crom. I think the turn orders turn orders a little off. I'm not well, sure what I've eleven, thirteen, 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 seventeen. Okay, so yeah, Dominic. Yeah, there we go. Nope, now it's messed up again. Well, well no, it's a here. Okay. He's, he's oh, it's okay for he's me. Cycling. It's okay for me. Hey, it's fixed for me again. Yeah, I'm cycling. I'm cycling through. That's how I know whose turn it is. It highlights green on my side. Yeah. Makes okay. So Brasora go. Oh, I guess I'll just shoot the last guy left. Um. You're going to dip your weapon in a holy... Oh, actually, you are on fire, so... I yeah. am in the fire still. Got and it. And these are melta weapons, too. Yep. 1d5 holy damage on top of that. Oh, my goodness. Minus 20 for shooting at the thing. So it was zero, then. So, where does that hit? Tower torso. Torso, 20, so he has uh, 25. So, f 6, so what is it, 8 gets through? Uh, these are holy weapons as well. Oh, so it's double, right? So, it's 60, so 45 minus 20 is 25 minus 66, 44, and then minus additional 2, 43. He is hurting, and his center chest armor is gone. So, no chest armor. It is melted. Keep firing, brothers. Right. Uh, reloading. Eric, please <laughs> go. Sweet. I'm going to try and hit him again. I hit. Now a willpower check. Again. It's kind of funny. It's kind of funny that Norris rage quit there. as soon as we killed him, too. Like right, right before, before we, we killed, killed him, him. he left. <laughs> okay. Ooh. So, that's four D10 that just ignores his toughness and armor. I think he's dead. Whatever damage you do here. If it does enough. Uh, plus the 1d5. Yep. So that's 21. He's he's hurting pretty bad, so minus 21. Uh-oh. Yeah. And this is the holy oh, one, so that's holy. like what? Double damage, right? So I just did 31 points of damage. Oh, you said it's double 21? Well, no, I'm saying it's that holy fire, though, right? Yeah, no, it does 1d5 damage. So it goes, okay. it ignores all his armor, so it does five more, five additional damage. Okay, so 26, that just goes straight through his armor. That's correct. He is hurting. Karnoth, go. Well, I have Oh, uh, and then I'm going to do a possibility shield on everybody. 
Uh, oh. But, you know, uh, restrained. So, hey, it's so, so he, he did a. Uh, um, Ericlatus did a me- melee attack, and the guy did not uh, try to parry. Is that correct? Uh, All right, correct. let me try. If I had done this in the other order, that would have been uh, 36 damage. Right. He's, right. He's, he's more worried about you at this time, so he's kind of focused on you, you sense. He's fighting off two people, so he said you fighting off a guy with a power sword and you, so he's going back and forth, back and forth. Hey, hey Boko. Yeah. Could I have done my turn in uh, the other order where I did my Pospedia Shield first and then attacked him? Because then he'd have, uh, he, that, he would have taken 36 damage instead of 26. He's, well, then he's dead. Sweet. All right. Describe how you kill him. Um. My little robot arm suit holding my staff uh, just punks him in the top of the head, and I go, nope. (laughs) (laughs) And his head explodes because of the psychic uh, burst from the staff. Yep. But the helmet doesn't explode, but his head does. Wait. Go to the space marine jail. Whatever filters are around his helmet, just bursts of blood spew out from every filter in his helmet and all all the seals in the area. Karnoff yeah, wipes out his helmet. Let us move. And awareness. So you hear the the frantic uh, uh, pounding on this door here. Frantic pounding. Hang on. Hang on. One moment. Probably more Chaos Marines beyond that door. Unless. Are there Chaos Marines behind that door? Yes. Okay. One second. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Sergeant Salas says. Uh, he kind of says. He kind of stops you. He says, "Hold up. Let me let me pay them back in kind what they've been doing to us." You just see him uh, pick up a flamer and stick it through that door nozzle there and fire. Excellent. And, Let me help you out. Right. It's holy fire. So. Ooh, and then for good measure, I throw in a uh, uh, Jaws of the Kikaradons. Okay. Into that room. Hopefully it spreads that holy fire the same way it did the warp fire. Yeah, that would be great. I purify this entire boat in holy fire. <laughs> it's, it's only a little bit of be... extra damage, but if it's you know at least spreading the holy fire, right? The emperor just... will be proud. Yeah, you see that uh, fire kind of like engulf the room here. And you just hear screams on the other side, wailing. How long does the blessing on the fire last? Let's not wonder. Keep moving. Oh, <laughs> the entire right. encounter. Uh, it points to uh, head north. There will be someone on our left side. And, and he says uh, the, the majority of the danger is past. That was like literally what wiped him out. The other space marines that are hobbling with you, they're barely alive, but hobbling with you. And the one, the mysterious one, is uh, thanking you profusely. Ooh, that- question. Did that holy fire do anything for them? Hopefully uh- cleanse their armor of the corruption that was being spread. So, uh, you guys need to nap check to see where you're going? Uh, Quick either, tech marine. That, yeah. yeah, I'll do uh the feeling we're going the wrong way. God uh, did say go north. Yeah. I will roll tech use to use my uh what is it? Uh Navi- fucking Navi- cartograph. Navi- cartograph. This is a plus tended navigation and it's a tech use. Or is it a 
incident tech use? Would it be a navigation? I'll, I'll do I'll do surface navigation. Oh, I thought it was a tech roll in place of surface navigation. Oh no, no, this one's a plus ten to your plus well, another twenty roll. because the guys are helping you too. Ah, uh, well, I succeeded anyway. Right. So eight, they point you to they point <laughs> seventy-two you to this room. plus ten, and I rolled a seventy-one. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's this, great. This way, this, the hangar is this way. The hangar is this way, brothers. Let me get the. Let's see. It appears that there is a wall here or a door. No. Oh. 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 Sister. Oh, wait, no, no, never mind. What? How'd she get here? Get out of here, Zeal. Get out of here. Are my, are my space marines in here? Where are my librarians? <laughs> no, thanks, librarians, no. form up. <laughs> I'll. Sorry, I have to, when you reuse maps, that kind of happens. Yeah. Defensive formation, go. Librarian powers activate. Death Star. <laughs> That's a form of a Death Star. That's funny. Uh, so let me see. It was. So you saved two Marines. Look at those. Oh, we escaped. Oh, you're at the hangar. You haven't escaped yet. And okay. then uh, I think three three in total survived because like we saved. Two from the first encounter, one of them died, and then we saved two yeah, from the yeah, second yeah, encounter. Yeah, Sergeant Talos. Yeah, uh, yeah, Talos, the mysterious guy. And the chained up guy. I think that is the mysterious guy. I think everyone else died. No, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, you have the myster mysterious one. Didn't Tavius die? But Gavius, Gavius is dead. Yeah, he's yeah. He, he had no armor and he is a flame. No, the one that survived was one of those guys on the ground. He literally wasn't in the fire. He was like in the safe spot, safe spot like uh, like the clairvoyant Ericlides. Yeah, Ericlides was in the safe spot. All right, let's find a working bird and get out of here. You mean the this one right next to us? Well, there's two right next to us, uh, but I mean, it's hard to tell from all of the shadows, but yes. <laughs> it must be tainted if they're in the shadows. There you are. What took you so long? I am amazed you still live. <laughs> <laughs> you, you have, honestly, my respect at this point. <laughs> Do we want to maybe check this guy out to make sure he's not a... Spirit need to check. A ghost? Had to go radio silent. That big horn fella came in here looking for something. Well, that big horn fella is now dead. <laughs> and yeah, I'll do uh, another. I'll do another. I'm do while I'm in here. Ten four. Oh, uh, uh, success. With him. We're good. Quick. Lower the ramp and get ready to get out of here. I kind of stay back, kind of making sure that everyone gets on board. Why are those other fellas with you? Fellow Death Watch from a previous mission. Have we done a side check against them? Yeah, the yeah, they were all here. One. Time for. Yeah, yeah, I did attack and they were all pure fighting off Chaos Taint, so... Uh, and they were succeeding. And with the introduction of that holy fire. Yeah, they should be clean. Medical teams are on standby. Is there anywhere you need to go? Yes. Out of here. We need to get out of here we right need to now. Go to Watchtower, whatever the hell Krom says. Whatever the Krom says, DC. <laughs> Well, I mean, he's he's the one who knows what watchtower we need to go to because you know whatever the closest watchtower is. Yeah, but... he's he's a he's a keeper, and yeah, so we're going to get to like visit... his his watchtower. Yeah, his watch captain and his watch. Time for watch commander major. I was with y'all. Figure out you want to go there. Excellent. Right. Then let's get out of here. Let us make haste, brothers. <laughs> 
Heresy grows from idleness. I board the ship. I'll wait this for everyone it, right? else to board the ship first. It, no, that's the wrong one, brother. It's this oh, one. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I board right. the correct oh. ship. You know, I think I'm going to stay here and purify some deep. I'm getting on the ship, too. You do that, Rasura. <laughs> we'll miss you dearly. Everyone else get on. Let's go. Thank you, librarian. Of course. We would not lose the opportunity to save our brothers. As I told you, the taint is not taking you today. Okay. Uh, you guys make your way off there. Uh, and then the dropship pilot informs you it's going to be a while. They have to wait for their ride out of here. Where is that guy? I'm assuming we'll want to wait until next session before we do the whole uh, watch right. captain thing. Yeah. And then... Uh... I'm going to use fools. <laughs> A librarian, did you recover the other artifact? What other artifact? Why do I have a feeling that he's about to turn on us? No. We were sent to collect three artifacts in the lower decks. Oh boy, that's two more. Oh, well, unfortunate. No. We were only sent for one. And we have a one. It's still relieving. I'm assuming there must be a coon. Understood. And a squirrel. What was your team told? Nothing. How many li live? Just this group? Yeah, our our group survived. Uh, <laughs> then there's Sergeant Talos and Keeper Crom here from one group. I think you're from the very first team that came in. I, I don't. I don't remember if. I don't think anyone recognized him from anything. Uh, because I know there was a team before Crom's team, and Sergeant Talos was a part of Crom's team. Right. Oh. I knew Sergeant Tellos well. I thought him dead. Well, he's not. He's right there. <laughs> you two can say hello to each other if you want. I think that means more like an NPC not talking opinion to an NPC. Blasphemy. <laughs> no, it turns out there's just an idiot guardsman inside. Oh God! <laughs> How did you pass selection? Sorry, I don't know what's real or what's not. I mean, that's fair. You've been through a lot. I hope we're on the dropship leaving. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> like how Tess and Danny really switched to cars. <laughs> <laughs> Are you rid of Space Marine? <laughs> <laughs> We were tortured for what seemed like eons. The daemon was attempting to break our will. Hey, hey look, it's the angels of death. I message um, Neil Gress Tyson through the uh, comms. Are you going to speak this one too? Don't tempt me, brother. 
Well, we're not, brother. You will have a well-deserved rest when we get back to the tower. Plus, you know, some de uh, reindoctrination training. But hey, right. you know, we all got to go through it. Librarian, what have you discovered about the artifacts? Nothing to be talked about aboard this dropship. Ace talking to Incoms with you, Secure Comms. That's right. I replied the same. <laughs> okay. Or once it's secure, we can discuss <laughs> things further. <laughs> Blackthorn seems obsessed with what was on this ship. He did indeed. He seemed obsessed with a lot of things. Wait, who is Blackthorn? I thought his name was Blackthorn. Right. He is Blackthorn. I hit the bags, but, uh, uh. Well, Blackthorn was in the past. Yes. <laughs> the one piece is real. He's gonna kill him. Uh, he's definitely like. You can only ever run, or ran in a campground. You can't run because it's past tense. I shoot Tesseract in the back of the head again. Oh, I must avenge my brothers. This Inquisitor will pay for his heresy. That will be for the chapter I, masters to decide. I have a feeling Crom is just going to do it for us. In the bowels of a vessel. Remember, brother, we are the Death Watch. Every <laughs> mission is a suicide mission. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, it's the infamous destroyer of bombs! Don't make any sudden movements! <laughs> uh, <laughs> Avert your eyes! <laughs> no! <laughs> ah! oh, God. oh God, they're doing it! They're angel of deathing everyone! <laughs> Why are they monsters? They're horrid monsters! Then start to tell us, uh, uh he's dude. My mind is weakened. I'm filled with vengeful wrath over the loss of my brothers. That's understandable, but don't let that wrath consume you. Right. There are those in the warp that would enjoy such a thing. Stay strong, brother. You've done well so far. Reserve the wrath for the Emperor. Right. What? No, you shouldn't be wrathful against the Emperor. What are you no, saying? No, 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 that's not what I meant. I <laughs> well, meant no, he's only a the... I you meant know, only the you're Emperor. Your space, you're speaking of guardsmen, and your aggression against the Emperor is very suspicious, brother. <laughs> that's not what I meant. I meant the Emperor shall be the only one to have wrath. The Emperor shall be your conduit of wrath. Yes. Something like that. I think you need to reread the scriptures, brother. Get yourself <laughs> clear on what needs to be spoken. <laughs> right. I just like the fact that I threw, threw the guard spit out of the airlock. No one's talking about. I'm the one that opened it for you. <laughs> <laughs> His blood boiling as he drifts off into space. Yeah. Towards a nearby. I mean, how many guardsmen have we killed? We've killed a lot of guardsmen. Just. Us. You it's alright, they were all bad. 
They all had it coming. I'm Captain Ragnar Steel Glad. Ragnar it's a pleasure Steel to meet you, Clad. Captain Ragnar Steel Glad. I am Captain Eric Cleides. Over here is Captain Dominego. Sorry for not introducing myself earlier. I was trying to save you earlier. <laughs> You it's said fine. earlier yeah, twice. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Sorry, I don't know what's three or not anymore. <laughs> you know, <that's> what <laughs> I say. Yeah, you've said that already. Yep, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just, you know, just take a nap. It'll be fine. We'll take Understood. care of it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take care of everything. Captain Reptar from Rugrats. Raptor? Ragnar. Yeah, Reptar. You know, Reptar was the dinosaur mascot thing from Rugrats. Mm. That's right. Yeah. Right. So. I can give you the details of our mission to cross-reference what just happened. Oh, no. <laughs> Is there a role where in a squad there must be at least one idiot guardsman? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I mean, he's on the drop ship. Always. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's defined in this in the squad st uh, structure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gotta have somebody they can throw out the airlock to establish morale boosts. Plus, it is the mind too small for doubt. Right. I have to take a shit, but all the space marines are between <laughs> me and the toilets. Should I throw you into the toilet? I like how he said thinks to self out loud. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Means to <just> self. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, <laughs> that's so funny. So you guys are uh, just don't hurt for... yourself, there, guardsmen. Right. So the pilot. Oh, I'm sorry, my lord. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I can throw you to the toilet if you want. Right. So the uh, the <laughs> rupture pods just informing you they're waiting for their evac by uh, frigate. The hellscape. So hang on. If there's toilets on the dropship and you flush the toilet, does it just get ejected into space? Yeah. I imagine, imagine <laughs> so. I would well, also imagine it goes into like a, a poop compartment. Or like, yeah, it gets recycled or something, maybe. Uh, I don't think <laughs> these vessels would be necessarily equipped with like a refurbishing no. sequence for, you know, recycling yeah. waste. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, <clears throat> it's okay, Captain. Once we get back to the Watchtower and secure the artifact, we can debrief each other and clarify what's been occurring. He just nods in acknowledgement, and then uh, the other space marine with no arms kind of thanks you for saving him. The space marine with Your no arms. Rather miss. Yeah. You Don't know, worry. We have they a can wonderful tech you. marine here who can rebuild you some great arms. He does wonders. Just look at his leg. My single leg. The other one burnt off of the warp fire, I think. You we can he takes rebuild it the wrong you. Way. Wow, he does not like you. What did you do to him? I did nothing. Oh, it must be the spanking. 
<laughs> no Wait, comment. Do, uh, is it like how like did it happen that the the guardsmen became space marines or something? Is it what? this has has what? that happened any, like at all that a guardsman has become a space marine like going through the maybe but typically they're uh adolescents or teenagers when they go yes. through the uh the process. Yes. But that yes. doesn't mean a guardsman couldn't become a space marine. Right. A potential victim. I, I don't know. I can just see the idiots guardsman becoming a space marine. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my next character is definitely going to be the idiot guardsman. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you guys are extremely hard to kill. That's so. how. That's evidenced by all the fucking boss fights we did. Oh, yeah. How much XP uh, did we well, get? It was just... It's just one boss encounter. I mean, we're still we're still playing. Like oh, you guys oh okay, cut it here. okay. Oh, if you guys want to. I think I can we still go. Yeah, I still got plenty of time, so it's All mainly right. just art role playing. All well, right. your choices may be limited then, miss, but we'll see what is available once we reach the Watchtower. Right, he just informs you that I'll have the tech marines at the Watchtower. He lost. Yeah. By the way, what experience did we get? Huh? Uh, experience. Just, just what, ex what experience? We just walked through hell. That's the experience. <laughs> We've learned that holy fire trumps warp fire as it should. You know, That's knowledge funny. gained. Yes, but and I'm the just holy thinking fire of how much we, to the touch. How much experience we've earned for this session? Session? <laughs> what? What do you mean session? <laughs> what is a session? Right. You talking about the mission? I don't understand. <laughs> it's not over yet, dude. Uh, and then he walks up to you. Dude, what is this dude you speak of? No, no, no. Explain. No. <laughs> Out of character. Explaining to uh, Neil Tyson, so. Uh, Here, see if you can replicate this holy warp fire. It seems most useful. And he hands you. Maybe not on the dropship. <laughs> yes, uh, <laughs> not on the dropship. You know, know, knowing Neil Tyson, he probably would have done it on the ship. He probably would have done it. <laughs> if I wasn't explicitly told not to. Yeah, that's why I immediately jumped in with the not right now. <laughs> Uh, perhaps I can replicate this, uh, once we return safely, brother. Right. Good luck with that, and just, you know, warn me when you attempt it so I know to be off the watchtower when you do it. <laughs> we learned that holy fire was cool to the touch. I wonder if it would make a good smoothie. I doubt you, Tech Marine, can make holy fire. No offense. It's kind of, you know, in the realms of the sister and the like. Right. Oh, I can bless most fires to be holy. It's the uh, getting it to be warp fire is the, the, the big thing. Yeah, we're, we're not going to we're not going to play that game of toying with the warp. Evil is not a toy. You guys see that? The the drop the Thunderhawk? Yeah, yeah I see it. Oh, yeah, sweet. It's an itty bitty baby, Thunderhawk. Yeah. If I can fucking find it. There it is. Thank you. Yeah, I got it. I got it. You sure? <laughs> yeah, someone's <laughs> moving it around. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, who's moving the Thunderhawk? This Thunder is what Warp Storm feels like, to be honest. Pilot, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not feeling so oh well. God. What's going on? <laughs> what? Did someone change the page color? Oh, there's a Republic cruiser. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's Separatists, okay. kill them. <laughs> Hit the bridge. It's their weak spot. That's hilarious. 
What is this? A Warhammer 40k Star Wars crossover? Anyways, uh, so one second. This is not scheduled arrival of a vessel. Uh, not so friendly with a vessel. If we can hide in debris, hide in debris. <laughs> also, how do you know it's unfriendly? Is it shooting at us? Well, I can see the giant spikes of doom coming out of a hole and very red. I don't think any of our ship have that. I don't know. Are we going to have to deal, gonna have to deal with I don't think you've seen a lot of our ships. A lot of our ships, there's a lot of spikes of doom coming out of them. Holy doom, mind you, but... Doomy dooms of doom. Are we going to so have to deal doom. with space monks now? So much doom, we might even have to see the doom song. Hold up, let me look a bit closer. I'll be back in like... I'll be back in like I just like imagine five... him, he just like actually just leans forward to the, like, the windshield. <laughs> yeah, that's what I pictured in my head too. <laughs> I'll be back in like five or ten minutes. Yeah, there's charge. Whoa, well, what appears to be a demon bullshit all over the hole. <laughs> Alright, bless it out of the sky. <laughs> <laughs> Quickly, everyone who can shoot a gun, man the guns. So. Pew pew that shit out of the sky. I think that's going to attract. There's no way they can see us. Let's wait for our reinforcements. Let me roll. Let me see. Are you sure they can't see us? I mean, they were coming pretty straight at us. This is a stealth craft of finest craft, but specifically to avoid bullshit demons. Oh, well, very well then. Carry on. <laughs> right. uh, let's see what they rolled, if they even see him. This is the finest stealth craft. They'll not find us. Yes, you've said that already. Thank you. <laughs> no, then they proceed to find us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, shut up, your bullshit, Dima. You can't see us. Please stop trying to jinx it. <laughs> the, oh, no. Ah, ooh, wrong one. Yes, we, we know your name, Captain. Go back to sleep. No, no, no. Oh, no, he's at the airlock. Stop him. He's sleepwalking to the airlock. Oh, I seem to have been noticed. Prepare for evasive moves. I fucking hate you. <laughs> uh, is there uh, like any way a second pilot could assist in uh, handling Absolutely. this vehicle? Absolutely, there's a co-pilot seat. All right, I would like to enter that seat. Yeah, yeah, you're seeing him plus plus twenty to help him. Wait, if All the right. seat is is a seat supposed to be for a normal human or can a space marine you know, set on the seat? Yeah, actually, good question. 
It can hold the, you. It's specifically right. designed for Space Marines. All right. Space Marines and other crew members like him. So there's like a upper cockpit where he'd be seated and like where you guys would be able to go pilot. All right. Do I roll for anything or do I just give him a bonus? Uh, you give him a bonus helping. Or okay. you can you can roll for something. You're trying to do something specific. So he's... No, I'm just going to be assisting him. That's it. Okay. <laughs> All right, so it's time to go loud. Let's deal with this bullshit demon vessel. And so I'm going to do a couple rolls for him. You give him a plus. What's your what's your skill in piloting? Uh, it's just trained. Okay, so yeah, I'll give you a plus twenty then. Oh heaven. Okay. Chrom is technically also trained in piloting, but he's not here. Uh so you do, yeah, thank God you assist him because he rolled a 95 for the first roll. So it becomes an 84, so it's not a critical failure here. So he comes by, you see him launch his weapon, and he deals. Oh, can I bless the ammo on the ship? Sure. I don't think any of our weapons can uh... do anything. Do anything against the boss. Ah, uh, it should make the ammunition holy. Right. Uh, and he does. Oop. It would take you a while, though. This is like a bunch of ammunition you need to yeah. bless. Yes. 77 points of damage. I'll just start slapping them as they get loaded in. <laughs> it only takes one touch. And then... Uh... Death Watch, now is the time to do your thing. I've created a hole on their bridge. And let me get that. You guys Karno going to... Would, would leave guys, his pilot seat. So you guys are going to jump on board the ship? To the airlock. Uh, I suppose. Uh, oh! oh they're, back. They're, back. they're back! They're back! They're back! Did you the wrong one? Hold up, let's see. Is that another one that was a little bit smaller? Yes! <laughs> He's going to be so disappointed in a couple of seconds. Oh, no, it's this one. This is it. <laughs> Why is everything on fire? <laughs> Why are uh, we suddenly plummeting towards a, a uh, planet? <laughs> They're still back. The guys are still back. Oh, yeah. It's just a dream, guys. Librarians, Death Star Formation now! <laughs> we will destroy this ship with impunity. Right, let me just set you up. Whoa. Everyone on the board? Yep. Yeah. How oh, that's not correcting it. Let me see. I guess it's okay. It's a generic token. Okay, cool. Sweet. All right, you're aboard the bridge now. All right, get to the bridge, blow shit up, and get out of here. Go, go, go. Karno charges with his sword at the ready. All right, where's the bridge again? Do we go just here? Or is yep. it? Yeah. Okay. All right. Bridge time. Oh. oh. If, if not, it's a giant reactor. No, it's a bridge. Ed. All right. He jumps in and he sees a person. Uh, he, I would he, like. You see Chaos Space Marines and various uh, crew member, uh, her her heretical crew members. Let me get an icon for them as well. 
my library. Yeah. Can I act or do I need to roll for something? You you can act immediately because they're busy trying to save the ship from what just happened. So all right, oh, uh, sweet. charge. Yeah, yeah. Quick, find the guy with a tricorn hat on his helmet. Kill him. They all look the same. Oh my god. Oh, never mind. Oh. <laughs> cool. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, they don't really notice you. They're just, you see them scrambling and uh, looking at various blaring signals going off. You hear a lot of cursing. Uh, what the fuck was that? Shit, I like- presume they have 45 armor, right? All right, so right here. Unless you're adding more. Okay, you're still adding more. I'll wait until you finish adding other people. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah, I'm just adding the... Uh, the crew. Actually, I can make a cold shot. So I, I could hit the head instead. That would be like 30 armor. So I would deal 15 damage to it. Oh, wait, no. I would deal 20 damage because I have pet of 10, not 5. Whoopsie. All right, that should be enough for crew. All right, cool. So unfettered, I'm going to throw an attack here. Get this circle. All right, there we go. We'll just hit all of these guys. Hey, not a double. Good. Excellent, Righteous Fury. They're probably all dead, right? Uh, I have my heavy bolter to say something all right. about that. Righteous Fury. How much damage did you do? So... 50, 40, 35? Yeah, all to, the... uh, to all these guys right here. Right, because that uh, does that have armor print or anything like that? Yeah, six. I am back. Welcome back. So all of the regular guys, all the crew members, they instantly get destroyed and vaporized. <clears throat> uh, this guy, he's a Chaos Space Marine, so he has 45 in the body. Yeah, I would like to do a cold shot, and I would hit a head, and I would have 10 penetration instead of 5, so I would be 20 damage to his head if it's 30 armor on the head, as yes. the guys before him. Yes. So he's going to take, what, 5 from the first one? Oh, you said 6 pin, Moth, or Yelmuk? Yeah, it's 6. Okay, so minus 50. Oop. Hold on, 45. And the last shot doesn't the last hit doesn't do anything to him, so he did twelve points of damage to him. So he's hurting. Okay, and then uh Carl, do your thing. Yeah, so really did did my thing, I would deal twenty damage in total. Instead the of the same guy the same guy he just attacked. Uh oh, we're we're doing another round now? No, no, no. I was just asking which guy you're attacking. Yeah, I'm attacking this guy, this space right. marine. 20 damage? Wrote, yeah, 20 damage. It passed armor and everything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's dead. Got it. And the other guy, Yelmug, is very hurt. And, uh, Vasora, what are you doing? Yeah. Also, just know that that's going to be in that area for, like, the next round. Yeah, he's probably dead. So, like, if anybody steps in there, you know, they also get hit by it. Okay, so it looks like no fighter practice today, so we can continue on. Oh, I missed for once. 
Give me more fate points to reroll that. That's a 96. That is a 96. Oh, I'll burn my last fate point to reroll it. The melody gun, that would explode, wouldn't it? Not that I know of. Mm -hmm. And you still have those hybrid weapons, too. I do. And who are you shooting at? Uh, this guy over here. Okay, so... Minus 20. I think he's nearly dead. Uh, hits him in the leg, by the way. Yeah, so it's 45 minus 20. 25 minus 37. He did 12 points of damage. Yeah, he's hurting, then he's prone to. Anyways, and who else needs to go? Dominguez? Uh, yes. I will shoot on the left side. Over here. Let's see. I'm going to aim. I'm assuming some of you guys brought charges. Explosive charges. Um. Uh, yes. Maybe. We strapped them all to Tyrone. Tyrone. He's using them as yeah. a leg. <laughs> <laughs> I have yeah, one explosive with me. Right. Oh, I mean, because the dropship would have all that material if you guys need to pick up anything. Oh, we did. Yeah. Oh. Wherever you need to pick up explosive wise, they'll have it for you guys. Re ammo, exp uh, ammo ups, and all that stuff. Besides the exotic stuff. All right. Over here, I'm going to shoot like pretty much around right here. So that's also half range. Okay. So that's plus 40, then half range 60, then chaos 70. So plus 70. Okay, do your damage. Are you hit, how which guys you hitting these three guys over on the left? Yeah, or right four, here. Or four? Like this guy's hurt, he's prone, and then there's these three standing. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Uh AP would be I'll just do seven. Okay. The the, the guys on the left have forty five and the guys on the right have uh, five armor. So it's non existent to you. It doesn't exist. You said 43? 45. 45. 45 for this guy. Yeah, they have all have 45 on the body down, and their heads are 30. Okay, so which body did I hit for this guy? Uh, you also hit the body. Just, just the body. Hey, you hit the body and everyone. So 45 then. I'm trying uh -huh. to use that fire. Yep. 45 minus 7. Oh, 11. you're doing your script. He's doing the script. I got it. I got it. I got it. 45 yeah. then. And then a pen armor target. Uh, Where was it? So their AP is 45. A pen, I think it should be armored for you. Or whatever. I, I forget how your macro works again. Let me check. Quickly check. Let me just quickly check. Uh, I'm hearing 35 or 45? 45. 45. And A pen should be armor target. Armored. Well, it took a while for it to calculate. Yeah. Got a couple of righteous furies, though. So yeah. keep doing it. <laughs> Just keep, keep freaking doing it. Um... Well, He'll be is... able to deal one damage if he rolls two tens. Let me just do the roll thing. No, the roll thing is already implemented into that. It's already, oh, is it's it? already yeah, 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 yeah. 
that's why, yeah, it's in there. I have three, four. So nothing gets through? Yeah. Got to stop there. There's, I don't think I can uh, penetrate him. You piss him off, uh, but the other guys you can probably hit. So I'm assuming you're spreading the damage out between him and do you hit him a bit and then you notice you can no. hit the other two. Yeah, I was trying to hit this. I wanted, originally wanted wanted to get to attack this in general, but then I focused on this marine right here. You focused all shots on him. Yeah. Okay. Make it make it simple. I was just asking, like, because like, like you could probably spread that out if you wanted to. You should definitely spread it out. The other guys are just regular crewmen. All right, I spread it out. There, there's they go splat. Because they only have 10 HP, and I am assuming you did more than 10, 8, 10 damage on all of these rolls. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. And then the guy on the ground, you want to try to hit him at all or no? Not even bother? Not even bother. You, you I, don't even, I, get, I, I actually can't really see him either from my okay. position. Okay. And then who else needs to go? I have They're not going yet. Cobbler, go. All right. Uh, let's see. I'm going to shoot at this guy with... Uh... I think you're on the other side of the wall there. Am I? All right. I'm going to move... And now I'm going to shoot at this guy... with my... Plasma pistol. There we go. Pow! I don't think that does anything. Where's your damage? No, doesn't. Doesn't. Damn. Word where does it hit though? Uh, 18, so be 81. 81 is. A leg. It is. R uh, plasma pistol, right leg. so it does. Yeah. You shooting the guy on the ground? Or the guy standing up? I'm firing at this guy. He's standing okay, so he up. Loses, like, uh, I'm assuming that's plasma, so he loses eight, eight armor. Alright. It is plasma. All right, cool. That's my turn. Okay, uh, I guess roll for initiative now. Oh, we don't have the turn, the combat, the turntable, whatever the thing is. Tracker is gone. Yeah. Give me a second. Ah, oh, sweet. My roll still got in there. Ooh. Yeah. Not bad. No, it's pretty terrible. True. So, Bersora, go. Dude, your initiative is always crazy high. Jesus. Yeah. Sorry, I forgot to do initiative. I essentially have unnatural agility, too, when I do initiative. There we go. Uh, what is the... Negatives for shooting a guy on the ground. It's like minus uh, yeah. 10. That's not yeah. a negative. You get a plus 30, don't you? No, only if you're like five feet away from him. Uh, yeah, while he's on the ground, he has a uh, cover bonus, essentially. Because mm -hmm. uh, it's harder to shoot someone prone than there it is someone standing up. Yeah, yeah, true. So what's the negative then? It's like a 10, maybe a 20. I don't know. One of I think it was a minus. Let, let me just check. Uh, prone, prone, prone. P 
prone, prone. Carl, did you get initiative up there? Uh, oh yeah, minus 10. There you go. Yes, I did. I'm on the initiative list. Okay. Wait, did you grab your character name? Polish smokes. Oh, hold on. Oof. Do you see the name now? Bogo. Hold up. I'll just, I'll. Uh, he might be dead. Karnoff yeah, 30 is, is left arm. Karnoff is uh, right below me in the turn order. Yeah. No, I just, I just, uh, I think I just tampered with my token name. It was not just just playing properly. It's all right now. Yeah, I fixed it. Cause you have to, you guys blacked out your names, I guess. Cause the the they were getting in the way. Yeah, the nameplates you can hide them. You can hide them. We can't. Okay. Wish there was a way to like make them see through. Makes sense. And they already are partial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not enough. Not enough. It needs to be like faint. Oh, if you go to graphics, you can go to. Option hover to show token nameplate and bar overlay. So it disables the name unless you actually hover over your character. Perfect. Perfect. That actually is perfect. Wheat. I didn't even think about that. I don't know why that's not the default, though, but whatever. Okay, uh, let me sort order, sort order fixed. Dot many, guess go. Then you did so that guy signal. die? Which guy did you target? The guy on the ground? Yeah, this dude. Yeah, he's dead. Get the first hit. Yeah, he had eight health. He's dead. He's fucking All dead. Right. Then the second righteous free hit will hit this guy over here. This plane. He's guy. dead. Uh -huh. There's, I mean, there's not much he can do. He's just gonna take a plasma to the to the testicles there. Well, bitch. Are um are we able to see these guys? Or is the reactor in the way? That's not a reactor. It's a bridge room, so it's an open way. So you. Can so we can. Her. All yeah. right. Yeah. Well. Well, if I see them, they're dead. <clears throat> and there's various terminals, and uh, you see a navigator, and that's about all you see in the center of the room. Seventy, just like last time. Are you hitting all the, the nice squishy guys? And yeah. Spreading? Spreading the damage out. Yeah. You said their armor is like zero or something? So you would be zero. They have they have five armor. So I'll put the zero in the script then. You could spread that out. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven guys die. Two, three, four, five, six. Well, you have one hanging. You're going to... Guy in the hallway? Yeah, a guy in the hallway. Okay, cool. Because I'm assuming you saw that your bullets were doing nothing against the armor that Space Marines are like, fuck it. <laughs> yep. The whole room. Uh, Krom's guy... <laughs> or oh, Krom's not on here, is he? No, he's not. I'm just going to skip okay, so I Neil think. Tyson, go. Yeah, Krom's is gonna be on the ship. He's just gonna rage quit out of existence. 
Uh, okay. Uh, so I'm going to... Well, not completely out of existence, I hope. He should be back for the next session. Anyway. Hopefully he doesn't race quit that hard. I don't think so. It would have to be pretty bad. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. Uh, I'm going to shoot at the same guy again with a uh, plasma pistol again. And I'm going to do a called shot this time, and I'm going to try and hit him in the head. So, Fine. if I'm doing a called shot, that's what, minus 20? Yep, minus 20. All right. Minus 20. Oh, my God. What did you get? I'm curious. I got curious. a 99. 90 fucking 9. Uh-oh. Does, uh, does anyone have a fate point for him to spend? I do not. No. I do. Nope. I have one Grenade. more. No, fuck it. No. Nope. Plasma pistols explode. Fuck they do it, explode. we do damage. Tess, Tess, they do use my la use my fate point. All right, fine. I use my fate point to re-roll. This would be minus ten now. Yep. Wait. So did you just use hey, mine or yours? Yeah, I did. No, I'm out of fate points. I spent my fate points trying to put out the fire on. All right, do your damage. All right, here we go. Did you and Norsk burn all your fate points trying to put out warp fire? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I think it's Prom warp did fire, too. bro. Yeah. Yeah, it's warp fire. Why do you even try to put it out? Because we're gamers. All right. Well, that not. that was a pathetic motherfucking attack right there. Right. I don't even think it damaged him per se. It just uh, pinged his armor. A did bit. I damage his armor? Oh yeah. All right. At least your pistol didn't explode in your hand. Again. Yes. So <laughs> Again. He's lost more armor and he looks a little bit pissed. Arnoff, go. All right. All righty. Yeah. Within right. Yep. And a yep. Uh, is he away? Turning, facing away from me. Is he preoccupied? He was preoccupied with uh, calming down fires on the bridge. Yes. So you can. Ambush them, I guess. But I'm assuming they're aware of you after this round. More than more than likely aware of what, what the fuck No, we, we totally did all that stealthily. They, they don't know we're here at all. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm pretty sure they know you're here now. You want loud nah, crap. Nah. Not these guys. They they're never noticed the existence of a heavy bolt of firing multiple times. I think I think I, they need to do an awareness check. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, let me see. Let, you're right. Let's let's see if he does notice because he's he is damn preoccupied. So <laughs> just hear all these gunshots. Like guys, will you shut up? I'm trying to work here. Right. You can't shoot the fires out, guys. He doesn't notice you. <laughs> Very well. I will use. Uh, what was it again? Uh, my hammer blow. It will give me half of my strength bonus as a, an armor penetration, uh, which will be uh, nine. So, and I am hitting him on the on the Head. left leg. Oh, left leg. Yes. Uh, so it's going to be forty-five on the left leg minus nine. It's going to be thirty-six. And uh, I don't know why it said drop chip pal. That's crazy. I think it has LinkedIn. I wish it would not do I don't that. see a darn thing around here. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. And two successes. And no. that's going to be Five the damage that goes There might be the demonic I mean, bullshit interfering yeah, with my I vision. Know. I can't see anything. And he's also stunned. Because it's raining. Yes, dear. I love you. All right. So. Oh, it's 16 uh, out through. Yeah, and like uh, as with the dreadnought, he needs to roll a toughness test because and half of the damage. Uh, how did we do it about last time again with the dreadnought? Uh, because yeah, like, I remember right, it was half of the damage he got through is the number of turns he was stunned. No, no, yeah. no. Like how we uh, calculated the toughness test because it was like you get a plus ten for. If, he, if, he failed it anyways, so... 
All right. So he's stunned for how much got through? A eight damage. Half of that damage is eight, basically. Four, four rounds. He's stunned. Uh, so sixteen damage got through, and eight eight turns is how much he's going to be sta- sta- stunned okay. for. So yeah, he's he's uh, on the ground, unconscious. Sweet. Uh, Eric, Eric, ladies, go. All right, I think I'm going to push the limit again. And it's Why do you want to push the limit? So I can hit as many people as possible. Ah. Yeah, my, my radius is only limited to how uh, my psychic rating. So I'm going to push the limit. Uh, oh. It's going to hit all of these people. Why, why do I hey. feel like this is going to go wrong? Hey, deal your damage. I got to be back. I got to let the dog in. Okay. Who let the dogs in? Oof, 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 oof. You have to uh, roll on the table no matter what you do, right? Yep. Uh-oh. <laughs> Result 75 plus roll on the big table, big boy. That's funny. I didn't roll. <laughs> no, what uh, Dan put in Death Watch chat. Yeah, I didn't roll. <laughs> True. True. This, that's not your roll. I didn't. Cool, it's a 66, but I was having to roll anyway. That's awesome. Uh, anyway, this is 90 10 damage. A, good, good, excellent, okay, just, just three times. There's that bad. Although, Righteous Free allows me to just do it multiple times, so I could spread this shit out. Sure. Which means here, and then here, which would hit. Hang on, let me let me see. Yep, and then it would hit these guys. You did forty-eight damage. Yeah, forty-eight for the uh. The first two will be right hit there, and then right on top of these guys for the second one. Yeah, they're dead. And then um. Right here for the last one. So that's like, even with their armor, that's still over 20, 20 HP. And they're they're dead. And I don't think that hurts the last guy. No, it doesn't. But it does clear out the chaff. And then I'm going to move. Put your circle down. There you go. Now I have like multiple lanes of fuck you. It was like that. Yep. Uh, it, well, this when one was. When was that, was, when was that last? When was the fourth one? The last round? Does it go out dissipate this turn? Uh, yeah, it happened this turn, so this one would. And he'd be dead. Yeah. All right. That was my turn. Uh, their turn, so. <laughs> oh, hold noticed. on. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. I got to roll for my uh, chart. Okay, I do have to roll. Oh, big boy shit. <laughs> oh, right. no. Let me roll it for you, then. Did I mention something about that? Uh, boom. So this is the thing you would get on my end. Up to you if you want to take it. Uh... Oh, one? Yeah. Oh, the... no, you rolled a 47 to 55. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I think they see us. Yes. <laughs> uh, what is mine? Let's see. Let's check our notes. <laughs> Although I think yours is 
because it's a lower is probably better. Well, well I mean, wait, yours, right. yours was 68, right? Oh, yeah, I have a 68. Let me check what that is. Yeah, I'm, I actually want to go with that one. Let's go with that. Uh, Boko's licking his chops. Absolutely. No, no, no. Yeah, Where we're going with the GM thing. Watch it just be better. Uh, a psychic storm of howling winds erupts and turns into blood, storm, rain, yada, yada. Uh, they must pass a challenging strength test or be knocked to the ground. If anyone Everyone uses psychic powers within the area, we invoke a Paris of the Warp test. So everyone within 33 meters of me. Jesus oh, Christ. Boy. All right. Uh, I think I, I think we're all in the radius. Bam. Yeah. So everyone in the green circle, including that guy way over there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're right. What does he have to do? Uh, everyone has to make a challenging strength test, which is just a regular strength test, uh, or be knocked to the ground. If anyone uses psychic powers within this area, they automatically invoke a warp test, and this lasts for 1d5 rounds. Good lord. What are my rolls today? Jesus. You know, honestly, six, and it, and yeah, it lasts true. five rounds minus if anyone uses psychic well, powers. Yeah, minus 20 for Neil Tyson. Your leg is going. Well, so you are on the ground. Yep. I got knocked the fuck to the ground. 96. I've rolled a 90 fucking 6. Can you guys make the, the, the area again? So the, you got a 96, eh? So yep, uh, it's in green right now. I'm right here. Uh, we I can't see it. Oh, you can't? Oh, well, that's a Boko thing then. All right, Boko, have fun. <laughs> oh, no, so, my other leg. <laughs> so, I'm Boko, now they can't lost. see my, uh, they can't see my radius. No, I'm sure they can't. That or there's no psychers on board. You don't sense any of that. No, 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 no. I mean, my teammates cannot see the radius that I just put down. Okay. Like I they could for all my other stuff. I can, I can see it. Uh, you hit everyone. Well, no, but I don't. We can't I don't see it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Well, they should Hardoff, be able to see it too. Hard off is not. In, yeah, yeah. I don't know if there's a way to do that. Uh, if you right click, it's on the. It should be like uh, the three dots, and it should be like visible to all players, or like let players see, or something like that. On the token aura uh, settings, it should be somewhere yeah, there. I, I see, I see. It's not on my settings, so it's got to be on his. Yeah, it's in GM settings. How about yeah. now? Yeah. Because on the other maps, they were able no. to see my auras. I added it. To, everyone has seen. Did you save it. settings? Yeah. Aura little three dot. Oh, aura two. Okay, sorry. That's it. Boop. Well, they should be able to see both. Yeah, there you go. There yep. Yeah, so just don't use psychic powers within this aura, uh, and you're fine. There's no one with psychic powers, so I think you're fine. And there's one person with psychic powers. Also, people. everyone in the aura does have to make a regular strength check. If you fail, you go prone. We did that. Sweet. Which Neil includes uh, which includes this guy. He already did. He f okay. He passed. Now it's going to have to happen. I guess every D every round for five rounds because I rolled a five on my number of rounds this last. Yes, yeah, so you actually yeah. So yeah. he's firing back at the guy who shot at him. So that's gonna be you, Dominguez. Wait, anyone within the area must pass a strength test. Mm -hmm. Yeah, even them. Yes. Yeah. Yep. So Dominguez, he shoot, yeah, he's shooting at you, heavy bolter. I have to what fire all ten rounds. If it if it can fire ten rounds, yes. That's ten. Jesus. Holy mother of God! So are they just all dead now? He's just targeting the one guy who shot at him. Oh, this is you shooting. Oh, I me shot shooting at him. back at Demangus because Demangus shot him first. He's oh. like, man, fuck you. I, I think, have that same weapon. I think I think Demangus may die. I think I forgot to dodge. You can yeah, dodge, yeah. yeah. You, you should, you dodge, should dodge. Dodge, dodge, uh, dodge. Modifier zero. It's a regular dodge. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so um, you actually go more into it. Oh Jesus! Can someone, does someone have a fake point? I think we're um, out. You, 
I think you can burn the fate points permanently to save yourself. You have to have one though. Oh, you have you have to have one. Okay. Uh, you have to have a fate point. Wait, hold up, hold up. Did I burn? test? Did I get no, no. my burning? Just means you spend them. Test. No, burning me means you them. permanently lose them. Come on, permanent burn. Yeah. Yeah, I would save that for you know I'm a I'm dead kind of thing. Hold up, test. Like did you burn? Test. Did what? you burn your fate point or or did I give you the one? I want to say Yoma gave me a fate point earlier. No, the gave him gave him okay. one, I believe. All right. Uh, so, so we roll uh, on the plasma. Well, I gave test two of mine. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Then. All right. And that was for removing the armor, I think. I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to use my uh, Mechanicus arm to push myself into the incoming hail of bullets and uh, body block it for uh, Dominego. You're going to die, more than likely. Yeah, yeah, he wants it. He wants to die. Maybe, yeah. Maybe I want to die. He's got the XP now. He's got the XP. He's got the renown. He's done the feat yep. of strength. He absolutely wants it so he can be that beautiful dreadnought. Uh, sure, Dominego, I no! Oh I jump in the God. way and... Agility modifier, minus 20. Minus 20? All right. You have no legs. <laughs> Yeah, and you're on, on the, the ground. ground. God damn it. it just rolls over. <laughs> just rolls. <laughs> I roll. <laughs> Fuck it, we roll. to prop himself up. I, I think I'm just going to be in critical condition or just dead. <laughs> uh, let's see. I mean, Tyson, you can burn all three of your fate points permanently if you want to jump into this. All right, you I'll do need, it. You, no, 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 no. Wait. You still need a fate point to be able to become a dreadnought. No, you have to have spent oh, all of your remember, fate points. From what I remember, you have to burn a fate point to become a dreadnought. Uh, no, I believe you have to. You have to have I've spent s all of your fate points. That's how it all works. Right. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna do that. that. Further, I'll, I'll check it real. I'll check it real fast though, just to make sure. Yeah. So, right. but you are still going to flop initially, and then gonna be in the f line of fire. Yep. Uh, take all that damage. All right. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I'm dead as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's nothing else I can do. Uh, it hits forty, wherever that. I think centered mass. Yeah, that's torso. Yeah, I I get uh, I get obliterated. There's, I have barely anything left of me. Just enough to make a dreadnought, hopefully. And I'm dead as fuck. Or dead as fuck. Um. <laughs> but you absorbed all the damage and prevented Dom Dominagus from taking that fate. True. You know, it's funny. All these guys were always armed with this stuff. And at any time, could have done this. But they always missed or you guys countered it. So it's pretty interesting to see it actually do something this time. I was like, man, it's like, did I underpower these guys? Nope. They're well yep. tuned. So he's going to attack you there. Uh, must have zero not. fate points. He has zero. Yeah, I have zero fate Who's points. Who's going to attack me? A renowned of 60 plus, which we do. Must uh, have he, cost uh, no, a great deed. Not a librarian and have at least 5,000 XP to spend. Never mind. He's he's proud. But this other guy's going to come in and chainsword you then. He may try. Oh, he succeeded, so you gotta parry it. Oh, the first one? Alright. Yeah, these aren't the, the elite troopers you're fighting in the, in the uh, underbelly. Okay. Uh, so I, you... I can actually uh, counterattack that, actually. <laughs> you're telling us that we Oh, I succeeded through. at that. Oh, no. So, what you're saying, Poco, is we survived the demon boss, we survived Wait. the Duralek. And I, one small Chaos Marine killed Tess. Yep. yep. Well, I mean, they're all in With heavy a regular power. attack, too. Just a normal attack. <laughs> right. And, and at any time, you guys have just been getting very lucky in your roles for combat. So I've actually been trying to be neutral and, like, whatever happens, happens. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, finally, one of them, one of the putties, lands a blow. <laughs> one of the putties. <laughs> I actually power cannot carry that. Because I did an all-out attack, so I need uh, to eat shit and take the damage. Oh no! That's a yikes.
We may all be dying here. <laughs> 10 to damage 29. I think not that bad. Yeah, no, no, they don't, you know, I did not make them overtune with weapons. It just scratches my armor. Yep. <clears throat> I like your armor. <laughs> so, and then let's see. This guy is also going to fire at, let's see. And Neil Tyson's dead, so let's X him out. The librarian, the guy who did the bullshit thing, he's going to fire at you. Nah, he doesn't have to. Ah, uh, he has to. Nah, he can try. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, he woofs and hits everything around him. In fact, he just, like, uh, kills I these call guys. upon the power of Ansius. Right, he just kills these two guys with his, uh... And then the third guy, the last guy to shoot, is this guy. He hits you, and that was a four or five. Against me? Yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to dodge. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, do your dodge. Yeah. I you dodge. Two bullets. So the first two you dodge, and the last three you eat. Ugh, I might be biting the dust too. All right, let's see here. Where, where did that, was it, was it hit? 52, center torso. All right, so if we go off the multiple shot table. Oh, we're doing that now, huh? Uh, no, we haven't done that for any of this, so. Cool, center torso, so let's see here. Boop, boop, boop. All right, so I have 15 armor left, so that's 15. And then... Uh, nine. Are you and down yet? Another nine. Oh, I didn't actually add them all. Cool. That's that's awesome. That's 20, 24. Uh, that's 33. Uh, sweet. So that puts me at uh, 10 over into uh, critical damage. So I have 10 criticals. So where's the critical table? Because we count for half of that. Uh, what was this? Oh, wait, hold on. Trigrid. I have my iron halo. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah you do. Yes. Actually, okay, yes. first one failed. Second one failed. <laughs> Third one failed. Yep, all right, took all of them. Cool. <laughs> awesome. Iron, iron halo. You iron what now? Bad there. I have an iron halo, so basically uh, uh, an invulnerability. Apparently field. don't. Yeah. One of those is yeah, a I, crit fail. I forgot to turn it on. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right, combat. I won't need uh, that. This is going to be a simple mission. We really no, are it, eating it, shit. Equipped, Holy shit. But... All right, what, what kind of... Was this rending? Yeah, it's all rending. Okay. These demonic bolters, yep. Uh, explosive... Uh, they've never done anything uh, like this before to you guys. Mm -hmm. I've, I've used this... Specific weapon against you. When she wants uh, to go bad, it goes real bad, real quick. The blow opens up a long uh, wound in the target's torso, causing him to double over in pain. I take 1d5 levels of fatigue, whatever that means. Why is my shit not working? You said oh, R slash. It's yeah. supposed to be slash R. Or slash roll, sorry. It should be smart there enough to. Oh, God. All right, cool. Five levels of fatigue. What is fatigue? Fatigue, not all injuries uh, and death much are lethal. I'm I'm retired, guys. I got a lot of blood loss going on here in my center head. I'm retired. <laughs> oh, if I take a number of fatigue excess to my toughness bonus, I collapse. Uh you're collapsed. Hang on. I, think you're I doubt Hang it. Hang on. I've collapsed. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> oh, uh, unless our unnatural, natural unless our unnatural toughness. Yeah, that counts. Right, yeah, that then counts. I have, I would have twelve toughness then. So my five levels of fatigue are fine. Okay, cool. Uh, but I am at in terrible pain. 
It Wait a second. Hold fatigue on. under the movement section in your Hold character on. sheet. I would have. I have to do the. Oh, God. Hold on. I have to check this table twice because I took three hits. All right. So 20. Three minus the 15. That's fine. And then minus nine. I'm at one. Oh, uh, the second shot I hit would have put me on the critical table. But it, I'd be at like 0. 0.5 for the uh, the half thing. Are we running up or down? Or you down? up. You round up. Okay. Then uh, got to go check the rending on body again. Uh, the target is not wearing armor. He takes one level of fatigue. If he is wearing armor, there's no effect. Okay, good. So it's just the five levels of fatigue for the uh, third hit. Sweet. So you're still up? Yep. Ow. But if I take uh, like another four, Flat. I'm dead. Or no, another another eight. If I take another eight damage, I'm dead. Well, yeah, they can do that, obviously. Oh, yeah, uh, clearly. Brasara, go. You need to kill these guys quickly. Oh, okay, so... And I'm imagining, Demangus, you're going to hurry up and uh, set the charges? Yeah. How many Where's of them she... had heavy bolters? All three. In fact, all of them are like, uh, looks like they're uh, armor, uh, 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 weaponized against taking off heavy, heavy, armor, heavy armor opponents. There's two at the bottom, one on the left. The ones, right. the two on the yeah. right, I got them, so you can ignore right. those. So your character can deduce these guys were specifically sent to deal with you guys. Ooh, I can get one of them. Well, there's also one the one on your left. You're going to get him? Yeah, it's the only one I could go for. Okay. And I have to jump into the room to do that. Good luck. This entire room is open, isn't it? Yep. One big bridge area. Oh, well. I'll jump in. I don't know why, but I Point feel like I had two oh, the one that killed. Uh, that's the one I killed, Neil. I think I already had two levels of fatigue, so I'm not at fatigue seven. All right. Okay. Because you got damaged earlier? Uh, it must have been a work power or something that. Gotcha. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Before. Yeah, you made it moth. Do your thing. I'm assuming you're targeting the head, right? Yeah. I can't, even... I can't specifically target, but it does hit 26, so that's an arm. I think anyone can do a cold shot. It's just you minus one. No, cold shot requires uh, aiming. Does it? It. it it requires like yes. half a thing. I have to do my entire turn as running, and then I can fire. Got it. So, but he's dead. There's no way he's surviving. That's 24 points of damage. He is deado. Because he he had uh, no armor in one of the arms and a head. Wait, these guys did not have yeah, armor on the head. head? That one didn't. The one he just killed. Because oh. someone shot him. I think it was uh, Neil Tyson shot him with a plasma pistol and did eight points of armor damage yep. against him and then someone mm -hmm. else shot him in the arm. Yep. Like, he only took armor damage so far. Gotcha. But Moth, <laughs> uh, even if he had hit center mass, it would kill him. Because... He had a couple points of health off already, so yeah, that would have killed him, because that's 24 damage coming down range. At least, or 20 damage at least, or more. He did. 
Okay, uh, Dominicus, go. Where Here. should I plant the explosives? Uh, you could do a free action tactical. Trying to find tactical. It's the very bottom right. It's just tactics. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> yeah. I don't have anything set in there. Well, you can still you can still do like a blank tactics roll. I think tactics are like trained, just yeah. dip by default yeah. for everyone. Yeah, it's trained. All right, modifier. Okay, aren't you a tactical uh, minus twenty? Yeah. Uh, you see exactly where to put it at the helm of the bridge, so the center of the room. Center of the room. All right, comrades, brothers, defend me. I rush to the. I already of the did. Shut up! You're dead. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! You can't dead. talk when you're dead. You cannot talk when you're dead. That's a you full a run. In real life. So that's a full run, so that's full turn, right? Yeah. Yes. So, yep. Uh, Neil Tyson, you are dead. Karnoff, go. All right. I will hit the guy that just attacked me. I can just ignore the one that's stunned because, well, he's stunned. Right. He's stunned for quite some time, and you probably kill him. You probably just shank him in the face at this point. Yes, I mean, when you're when you're when you're done, because it's eight rounds. That's quite a long while. He's at round seven, so. Is he gonna try to parry me, or does he just uh, take? Oh, damage? he's he's gonna parry. He's not gonna take that coming from any uh, from any asshole. He blocks it. So he blocks the first attack. Oh, right. oh, oh no. <laughs> Let's see if it actually does anything to him. That's still 45. All right. Seven got through. And that is also 45. Yeah. And a bing. Yeah. So. And my turn. 11 gets through, so he's hurting pretty bad. Arclades, go. Okay, I have two options. I can either take the corpse of our companion back to the dropship while I let this terrible thing dissipate, or I run forward and force those two space marines to make a strength check or fall flat on their face. They did quite a bit of damage, didn't they? Yep. Well, they have ranged weapons, and you can still shoot them while on the ground. Mm, right. They take a penalty. They take a from penalty the to shooting when doing that. And they have heavy bolters. Full action to do semi auto. I doubt they can shoot prone with heavy bolters, though. Yeah, you technically have to brace uh, a heavy bolter properly before you can just shoot it. Right. There are space marines, though. They can just brace with their armor. I guess. Pretty big gun. I don't see so them. It, even for space marine heavy bolters, you have to spend an action to like brace it technically. And I know we haven't but, done it for anything we've done for our heavy bolters. Technically, we have the talents called, uh, what is it? Um, oh, that's what true. It? Our, our yeah, they delivery. would have that too. Yep. But it would force them to shoot out a penalty, at the very least. So I will just run forward. That's if they fail their strength check, right? It's yes, and the space only space. thing that's going to give this guy the opportunity. Oh, fuck. I don't even reach. No, well, never mind. <laughs> I'm going to grab this guy's corpse and start dragging it back here so that okay. way y'all aren't in the uh, the blood rain and have to constantly make uh, shrink checks that not trip. Right. So you're going to go and cover now? Yeah. With the, okay. So taking uh, this corpse with me. Right. Uh, it is their turn. So, Dominate, you ready? No, uh, but I'll, get, I'll give it a try. Okay, so... Our entire fate rests no, in the I, I should probably 
I should probably be prone since I'm just planting explosive and not don't need to be standing. You probably yeah. could have thrown yourself onto the ground when you got there. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. Okay, so make yourself prone. So they get a they get a minus twenty to hit you then. So instead of getting forty, they'll just get a regular twenty then, right? You're at half range. Or is it plus twenty, so they get zero. Eight. Hey, oh. So he hits you... Quick, roll aggressively. <laughs> I think you absorb that. Oh, no, that's the wrong weapon. Sorry, derp. Ignore those four. One, two, three, and four. Uh, and then here's the other guy. And one. Two hits. Oh, it's just two? Oh, sorry, then no, that's one hit. Okay, but say, then one hit, so... I can Technically. dodge all that, right? Technically. Yeah, yeah bro, do dodge. You dodged, oh. I think, all of them. You actually did dodge all of them, man. <laughs> that's really all, because it was five shots. First guy is four, the, the other guy was one. So, yeah, that's all five. <laughs> you fucking Jeez. did it. You effing did it, bro. Because that, you was, that would probably a gamer, you. holy shit. That would have killed you outright, wouldn't it? Mm hmm. So he's well, got my armor, my center armor is 29. Right. So, yeah. Karnoff, he's going to swing back at you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, why you roll damage? He missed. Oh, no, he didn't. Never mind. Yeah. That so, 14, wrong. that's my right arm. Pin two, damage thirty. I just scraped my armor. Nothing bad. Jesus Christ, you're tough. So he can't hurt you, can he? I think that was his max roll. No, that's he can do nine more damage, and that would actually hurt me if he did uh, like the full ten and ten. Work. Yeah, he rolled a one and a ten. Okay, and then these guys are gonna move, and these guys are gonna move. Boop. Persora Wait, go. didn't you have a scout rifle? Wait, uh, you mug? I do, yes, but it, it does two d ten damage. It would it would um, tickle it would tickle them. They'd be like, "What is he doing?" He, he even might even if be, I hit them in the head, it still wouldn't do any damage. It would tickle them. It, it, it would they they would love it. It's like, oh man, I love this. Ping no, ping 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 ping. The only way I can be effective dash. is being in melee. Is the only way I can do damage, otherwise my psychic powers. But I've got the constantly roll on the peril yeah, table yeah, at the moment, which yeah. is... It, I could summon a demon prince in this fight, and that wouldn't be good. So, yeah. you got 90... you have any more fate points, Moth? Nope. Okay, so you fall over here, and you are now prone. Wrong. Let me just push it anyway. <laughs> I mean, you we, can still seem to be. You can still shoot. Fight. You can still shoot if you want. Yeah, I could. With my melt the guns, it they would get this far and then dissipate. Okay, then. Uh, so, I guess that's your turn. I, I could use a bolter, but it's not going to do much. That's good. I mean, you can shoot against those guys. Pop off a few in the background. I mean, can he take an action to try and like not be prone? Oh, we've got those. We got those relic pistols. Hold on. Yes, you do. Uh, also, the the pilot check that Moff did was a, like against that, so that guy failed. Yeah, he failed. Um, he got a ninety-two, so he fell halfway through his jump and landed on the ground. To the chaos. So he's prone this turn. Sweet. Do your damage. Who are you targeting? Holy crap. Uh, that. That's where does that close one? Where, where does that hit? 74 leg? No, arm. No, right leg. Oh, it is a leg. Okay. Yeah, arms are 30. So, 45. Let me do the math. It doesn't go through. I don't think so. But that hella, hella crap. Um, it is a righteous fury, though. 
Yes, it is. Minus 8. As 37, so... But uh, he t he does lose 8 armor on his leg. Because that's a hybrid weapon. Where does that hit? 62. Uh, 62. Chest. Chest. Okay, he loses another 8 armor. I don't think that pins at all. So. Oh yeah, that, that won't do any damage. Still, he's like, oh, ah! <laughs> and I also stand up from prone. No, I, I no. stay prone. I stay prone. I stay prone! Right, probably safe. And then, Dominagus, you were prone as well. Yep. Let me put the icon on you, too. Alright, how do I use explosives? I don't see as a commit. It's uh, it's demolitions. If you're not trained in the advanced skill demolitions, you cannot do it. You will fail. I'm not trained. Well, yeah, we had one fail. person who is trained. And, and he's dead now. Swiss cheese. Yep. Well, it is a remote detonator one, so you could just place it. You're not strapping anything. You could just place it and push the button. Do you still have cr uh, frag grenades? You know what you could do? Hang on. You could devour. Yes, I... You could devour part of my body to gain knowledge of demolition skill. Then he's got to go back. I could. Grab, I his hand, go grab back. my hand and then all, run all the way. Well, back. I can do it. I can devour his corpse. Only yes, part of it. Though. True. Leave the or, uh, leave the brain and uh, the heart intact. Or at least. or since it's already been set, all we really need to do is just prop it, fuck it down, and then run. Right. You yeah. Can just Planet, dude. Not yeah, do that. Anyone. Do that. Yeah. Planet. Yeah, Not yeah. planet. I'll we'll just plant it. I still need demolitions, don't I? No. no. Just pull off the double-sided sticky tape, hit it down, and hit the arm button and run. <laughs> and don't right. get stuck to the double-sided sticky yeah. tape. Uh, do a intelligence check, I guess. See if your guy can do that. Uh, minus 10. Yeah, make sure you read the words plant uh, face towards enemies. Oh, hit it. Oh. Oh, no, I, I already knew. I already knew what I was doing, so I just put it down without reading. Yeah, sticky tape. God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That reminded me. Sticky tape down, and then I got okay. That reminds me of uh, there's, you know, the whole this side towards enemy on the claymore. Yeah, people. That's what I was talking about. Yeah. Yeah, people have <laughs> taken uh, sharpies, and like gone out to their uh, electrical meter box, and they've written this side towards enemy on it. Turn off, go. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, it's my turn? Oh, uh, oh yeah. Uh, Wait, so that was the full action then? Yes. Okay. Full action. Because it takes you some time to actually get it out. It takes you more than just like, slap, I'm good to go. Alright, three attacks against the guy attacking me. Oh, he hits shit. Very good. Yeah, he hits shit, so you can deal double damage with the first one. He's such an idiot. He kind of exposes his neck. Actually, the first hit will be on the on the head. Yeah, he exposes his neck to you. So there you go. Boop. Oh. Uh, the the rest I would like to the rest of the damage. Yeah, he's super dead. I would like to follow up on the guy, prone. Okay, go for it. Uh, thirty-two, not 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 the thing. Okay, doesn't go get through. Okay, and the last one. Oh wait, no, uh, and the last. He only one. has four HP. Come on, just get four four points through. That's all you got to do. Uh, the third one is uh, also hitting the head, so that will be twenty-four damage. Okay, he's dead. Describe how you kill him. Yeah. Uh, the follow through, like, it's, uh, so me and this guy were just kind of duking it out, like, burying, whatever. Uh, I managed to get, like, he, he overextends. I managed to get in that, uh, swing, like, overhead swing from the top right. And by following through, I managed to, like, do a twirl and hit the other space marine lying on the ground, also cutting off its head. 
Sounds like an epic move. Uh, Eric Lady's get go. Sweet. Uh, so you've planted it. You do the thing. I'm like, once it's planted, start moving. And I'm, I'm dragging uh, Tech Marine's body out. All right, where am I being dragged? With this, with this torrent of uh, bloody rain with me. Just, uh, yeah, yep, just right yep. outside the door. Yep, yep, here we go. Nice. Does that go away yet, or do you still have that? Uh, uh, this will be the second round that it's been active, so it'll be active for uh, three more rounds. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, it's five rounds of it. There's blood everywhere. Yep. Is the blood coming from Mark's All right, are you done? green friend now? Uh, it's, no, it's raining. It's just raining blood. Are you done? Yep. Okay, uh, and it's their turn, and they just saw you kill their friend. So uh, It'll be fine. Yeah, Karnoth, you ready? Oh, I'm always born ready. Yeah, they just watch you do sick moves and decapitate two of their two of their brothers. So okay, there's both their attacks. First first guy fucking Barely. Barely hit. hits one hit. So dip. The other one gets five in. Yeah. One, two, three, four, and Five. No damage, considering. Right. <laughs> I think he absorbs. You absorb all that, don't you? So wait. So the first is in the head, and the rest are on my right arm. Uh, let me see. Let me just quickly check. Yeah, I think you absorb a majority of that. Maybe the head one, not so much. That was twenty-four to the head. Hey, uh, Boko, real quick. Are you able to give me a new character sheet? Huh? Uh, yeah. Alright. I'm gonna Are you making that. one for your. Are you gonna make one for your, uh. Alright, I don't your, dodge your that. Guy? Yeah. Are you so, gonna... overall. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. You know what, uh, Boko? Just give me two character sheets just in case. I need to make, uh, yet another character. You're gonna, yeah, because you're gonna make some rolls to get to that, that yeah, guy. Yeah, true. Want. Yeah, I want to. You know, you're not just gonna get it, but okay, that's it's fine. Gotta make it fun. Gotta make it entertaining. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, as I was about to say, uh, so I have the same amount of armor on my head, my right arm. Um, okay. So the highest damage that gets through is it twenty-eight with eight pen. And after applying all of my armor, I take one damage. Sweet. So that's probably a good thing. You took aggro. And yep. Then... So, yep. That's end of my turn. Okay. Well, I mean, it's the end of their shooting. So they shot at you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. True, true. Yeah. So these guys are moving through. Boop. And Brasora, go. I'm assuming you stand up. It's a free action for you. Are you yep. staying front? Okay. And I'm out. And you just see... Okay, you're, okay, you're all bouncing out. Dominagus, go. Is everyone retreating? Y yeah. You yes. <laughs> Run. <laughs> I mean, uh, I could... Jet back over to you and then try to drag you back, but we're both I, not going to get very far. He's also, that. yeah, he's also very big and you're very tiny. Well, I could run, but I could also shoot the horde. <laughs> I could pop a few shots off as the horde as I'm leaving. Yeah. But then I'd have to make a roll. All right, I stand up and. Does stand up a hand action? It is half action, I believe. Yeah, it's a half action. action unless you have a talent, which makes it a free action. Okay. Uh, then I could probably do a charge north, or... You have to hit something with the charge, I think. Mm. I can if hit it's a half wall. move, if, it, if it's half action to stand up, you only have a half move at your disposal. Mm. I don't want to just aim, then. 
I think you can make like a single attack with the bolter as a half action. Yeah, heavy bolter. Gonna lose my aim though, or some chance, right? Uh, I don't know. You have a pretty high stats, anyways. Yeah. So base plus, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna use the heavy bolter and fire as much as I can against this group. Yeah, as a half action, I think you're gonna do single attack, like a semi-auto attack, from what I remember. So if you want to do multiple attacks, you, that needs to be like a full turn, question mark? I think that's how it works. I could just do a half move. We are trying to run away, you did plant the explosives. Yeah. Yeah, right. because you you guys know there are more of those assholes coming. A lot more. All right. Well, I stood up and did a half move. That's all I could do. And I end my turn. Uh, Karnoff, go. All righty. So uh, since it's my turn, I would like to... <clears throat> use a solo mode ability yet again called burst of speed i get a plus two to my agility bonus which means uh, uh it's like i get a natural agility should i say sorry so i have two natural agility so i can move uh, Basically, if I move and I try to pick up or uh, uh, Domenego, I could get to cover. Say again? Uh, if I use my jump pack, I would be able to grab you and get to cover and at the same uh, in the same turn. Yep, minus 30. Pilot check. Yeah. Roll. So how many pilot checks then? Just two, because I'm assuming you're going to grab them, jump to the... Yes. Jump to the doorway and then walk the rest of the way. Yes. Uh, unless it, unless you're an idiot, you go jump, jump, jump. So yeah, minus 30 on both. All right, so that's going to be a minus 20. And then a, okay. also a strength check to keep a hold of them as you're flying. All right, let me just do the pilot checks first. Same thing with uh, you, Dominic. Dominic is probably going to hold on to them. Uh, that one does not get. All right, uh, strength check. Uh, modifier. Uh, minus thirty. Okay, I just tackle him instead. I guess. No, no, no. So you don't know. You get to him, right? So that's first success because you got a successful pilot check, right? And then sure. you fly, yep. fly to the door, and as you guys are taking fire, you basically throw him, and he. Lands by the wall over there. It's something. You guys, yeah, you guys are both prone. I can do a free action to stand up. Yay! I would recommend you don't. Will the real Karnoff okay. please stand up? Okay, uh, Eric, please go. Sweet. I'm going to continue moving this corpse over here and then toss it to... Uh, the Space Marine that's just... Oh, I'm going to toss it to me, in fact. Okay. Boko, you're going to have to move my token because it's, like, stuck in a wall right now. So Sergeant Talos is there waiting for you, so... I yell at Talos. Grab this Marine and take him aboard. And he does so. Cool. I can now turn around and maybe uh maybe assist. Okay, it is their turn. Dominagus, are you prepared? Say again. Are you prepared to get shot at? Uh sure. Minus twenty, everything going at him. Yeah, he's not getting shot by everyone, but he's getting shot at by somebody. So that would be modifier zero because they get all right. No, they're on half range, for, so minus 20. 
and he got a what? A 78? Misses. misses. So, he, and shot, then, he shot his own uh, friends. <laughs> ah, he just misses. They ain't that bad. So, and he's gonna okay. just, this one's going for Karnoth. He hits. Three. He thinks he hits. Oh, he hits. They just don't do anything. I guess I just dodged the first one and I'm like, yeah, whatever. I just ate the second one. Actually, where does it, where does it in the hand? Uh, 40, 40, 34. You That's missed two, right? Okay. Oh, two? Oh, okay. So I'll be I, back I in just... like five minutes. All right. Yeah, I just eat, 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 eat those. Yep. Okay. And then we mark these guys. So you know which one these guys are at. Yeah, that one is with a team of guys. And he's going to fire at you. He hits and does nothing. Yep. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. You just see a giant fucking cannon hit the wall. Essentially, like, yeah, just like a, a tad bit of it sc scrapes my armor. Uh, you're like, oh, man, uh, that could have killed me if it hit me. This is what you're thinking. Yeah. And then the other guys shoot rifles at you and does nothing. So, Brasar, go. But okay, you're under, turns over, I move. Yeah, you're under a lot of hail of fire. Uh, Dominagus, go. I uh, stand up and... Just go. I just, yeah, just, I just go. At least I get some cover. I think once um, Karnalik is in cover, I think we, we can end end the session here. Cause then we, can, we can give you points and whatnot because you get back on the vessel. Do we get um, Neil Tyson's body on the vessel? Yep. We already yes. So, we Karnalik, go. All right. Uh, I think they're far behind. It. We can just outrun them without me having to carry you. So oh, I'll just go over here. I'm not moving far in case something bull bullshit happens, so I'm just going to stay here. Yep, you guys are good. You guys make it aboard your vessel. What? What do you mean? Bullshit happens. Okay, would Shh. never throw random you... nonsense at us when we thought we ended a mission. Never. <laughs> this entire thing is random nonsense. What are you talking about? Oh, that's hilarious. Not random. It's not like it's orcs coming. It's It's chaos marines to reinforce their brothers that you've been wailing on and destroying the past couple sessions. Yeah, so it's it not random, it's chaotic. Yeah, it's chaotic, it's chaos. Anyways, uh, so who's going to push the button? I take the corpse of our fallen brother no, no, and no, I no, use no. his Don't hand do that. Don't do that. No, no. to it's, press the button. It, it's Neil Tyson with explosives, please. That's fair. Even Someone if it's the corpse. The <laughs> I will It'll press backfire. the button. Me and explosives go way back. I got this. You push the button, you see the bridge detonate. Yeah. All right, I'll keep them busy for a while. And you just see him dropping bombs all over the deck. I think we made our point. Get rid chaos noobs. What language is he speaking? <laughs> must it must be it must be an old uh, old English tongue, old earthen what tongue. Is, what is English? One of the many terms. It's a precursor to He's Gothic. Martian guys, come on. All right. Uh, and then also, you're... how am I hearing you? <laughs> no, Are you still a... alive? Slap, slap. I think he's still <laughs> in there, guys. I don't know. Maybe you can check your him. helmet. Resuscitate him. What? Is that not a dropship pilot? No, I'm talking no. out of character, you fuckers. 
Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have a character anymore. You do. He's just, uh, you're having he's just uh, temporarily he, he's, incapacitated. Yeah, he's, uh, indisposed at the moment. Right. Let me see if I can get, uh, let's see. Let me find it. Where is it at? Yeah, this will do. This will be fine. It's a literal boat in space. Oh god, it's huge. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I mean, they are technically boats in space. So, and you guys freaking arrive, and you just see it obliterate that uh, that vessel. Then why did we go on there? <laughs> I was, it's I keep reason we do everything. Oh, no, it's to keep it from killing you guys. Because it caught you. So, either that or fight in open combat. Boop. You're funny. Alright, uh, let's see. Let's give you... Here, I'm going to do this. 2,000 XP. Nice. Holy moly. Yeah. All right, let me just add the 2,000 XP to my dead self. <laughs> how much we got? 2,000? Yeah. Yep. Right, and that's the end of that mission, so you guys completed, I think, all the objectives. Oh, yeah, we had objectives, right. <laughs> but well, we had we objectives. Didn't, we didn't turn in the mission yet. It is turned in. Yeah. You're you're safe. You turned it in. Well, our, our mission was to we were get the artifact. To turn it into the uh, what's his face. To black, you know, black I horn. mean, sure, but it's, the, it's now reporting to the watch commander. You're safely at the watch commander's facility. So sweet. Got it. So how much uh, re re renown did we get? Let's see. Thank you. Uh, I'm looking at the thing. It's, there's so much renown for primary objectives and secondary objectives. It's right. like two. Right. What is this? Mission number three? I is think we're mission on number mission three? number five. Yep. Retrieve the kill team must locate and retrieve a mysterious device of critical importance in the depths of the derelict space hawk device is believed to possess significant value of the potential ongoing fight oh, against chaos. Mission three. Damn. Yeah, that's the primary objective. Number one, secure the docking area. Kill team must secure Jeez. a designated docking area. You guys did that. Establish a foothold. Yes, twice. And then grasp for the point of the mission. You already did that. Gather intel. Gather intel for information in a data log, relics that shed a light of the nature of the cat's forces present within the Space Hulk. You kind of did that. You well, know that there's... We rescued two previous uh, members from a previous team, so... Yeah. So they should have the intel. Yep. And then, oh, you did the tertiary as well. Eliminate chaos space marine elite forces. The kill, the kill team must neutralize any space marine elite forces encounter with the Space Hulk. That was that uh, boss fight encounter. Ah, okay. And you annihilated that team. <clears throat> uh, the adversary was like possessed and enhanced combat skills and we serve as a significant threat to the mission's success. Identify and eliminate them. will cripple the enemy's command structure and enhance the chances of completing the primary objective. All right. already did all you already did that, but you do know there's two other artifacts, so I guess... How much renown is that? Like, eight total? Yeah. But as Something far like as... That. Yeah, as far so as... Have, so we have eight renown from this? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and as far as your team is concerned, the primary objective was completed because you're passing to get that one relic. The two other relics, just the intel at this point. All right. So our total renown... Right? Should yeah, be 72. Say, should be 72. Yep. All right. Okay. Uh, oh, one sec. Which makes sense. You just killed a demon prince. Yeah. Avatar. 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 In the book says demon. Demon. There, there's no way that was an actual demon prince. I'm assuming that was just the avatar of one. No. Yeah, it could demon. be a lesser demon prince. Demon prince. Yeah. I mean, you uh, used the exact demon prince. That was the exact stats you took. Yeah. 
All right, so Boko. Um, I even beefed him up a little bit too. Give him he he. This one has eighty wounds. The one you fought. If he had one. hit us, if he had actually hit us, we would have been one shotted. Probably, yeah. So. Uh, all right. Yeah. Boko, you said you want me to roll for uh, dreadnought shenanigans. Yeah. All so... right. What do you want? So we're gonna do Medicaid rolls. So we're gonna someone's gonna have to do that for you. You don't have access. You don't have access to Celeste Steel anymore. Technically, Chrome has Medicaid. Right. So you yeah. would be under yeah under one of your team members, or you could take up the chances with the straight rolls that the ships have to actually stabilize you for this. Well, what's the um. Chrom has a basic trained Medicaid, though, from what I remember. Give me minus 50. Alright. Uh, it's just like... We don't we don't have access to Sylvester anymore, is that what you're saying? Yeah, she's... she's With the Inquisitor. The, uh, Inquisitorship. Ah, got it. And you guys are now at the, uh, the Watchtower. Well, shit. I mean, I Krom isn't here the at the talent. moment. I think... Because he's basic training, right? So... I think the watchtower is med medical? There might be medical personnel in the watchtower. There is. I would imagine so. You want to take a chance with them? Uh, I guess. I mean, what choice do I have? You should probably have a couple of off carries on hand. Yeah, they should. I'm guessing they would be uh, further along in training than uh, Krom. They should be better than Krom, yeah. Yeah, okay. I'll take my chances with that then. Okay. One second. GM yeah. rolls commence. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's see. Oh, man. Dude, if I don't make it out of this, remember my sacrifice. <laughs> Who was it in vain? You got this. No, it wasn't. <clears throat> no, I think Crown should have Crown should have uh, dealt with unless, that. Unless someone wants to permanently burn their fate points to make sure he auto succeeds. Uh that would be very nice of any of you if you did that. Burn uh, even if we don't have any like left at the moment. No, no, it would be burn, you, you, can, you can permanently burn it, means burning is reducing reduced. your maximum. Yeah, yeah, I know that. I know, but like, do we have to have one available to do that? No, no, you don't. It'd be all—all all three of yours gone too. <clears throat> all three, damn. Nah, yeah. don't, don't take it's that huge risk. Sacrifice. Don't it's take three it. rolls. So boop, boop, boop. You could burn one each. Uh, would that Let's work? Do one, one, one person. What if you roll them and then we determine whether we need to burn them? Right. Yeah. I said just roll auto burning them. Yeah. So minus fifty. So here's the train Medicaid person. Uh oh. Okay. Jesus. Oh, they got two more rolls. You have to roll a twenty or below. A thirty or below. Now this is person has the max train yeah. capabilities. So. All God right. damn, that's rough. I'm gonna burn one of my points. Yep. I mean, it'd be all three. Someone must sacrifice like he's All three at the same time. Oh, I all see. All three, all three permanently. Wait, wouldn't he be doing that then? He already burned all three of them. No, he did so he could save uh, himself. Captain Domniego. No, yeah. Not to save himself, to save Captain oh. Domniego. That's right. Oh, I totally forgot the solar eclipse just happened a few hours ago. Wait. That's right. Yeah, he did. All three to save Domniego. Domniego okay. is... Save. His character is saved by the sacrifice of his fallen brother. That's we don't have seals, so you're not going to let me uh, sacrifice all of her fate points, are you? Oh, hell no. I mean, yours is. Your, your stuff's too powerful <laughs> for you to sacrifice yours. No, no, Zeal, the, the medic. He didn't count. Oh, Sylvester Zeal. It'd be, be a player. Right. The, the fate points are chapter players. More or less. Karnoff as a character would. Burn all of his fate points in order to save a space marine. I feel like. So here's my question, Boko. 
would you allow multiple people, like three no. people, to burn? No. Okay, it's all three from one. Person. Yeah, I already said that. Right. No, no, it has to be a sac I, I, like I said. This is a decision you have to make. That this is a sacrifice, not a compromise. Got it. All right, I'm sacrificing mine. If I wasn't a librarian, I would. I sacrifice all three of my fate points. Hard decision to make, so he survives, he, he survives, be in the process of being made into a, um, dreadnought. Yep. And I think he met all the expectations, has all the renown, and he did an honorable deed of sacrificing himself for you. Yep. That was the idea. Literally took... Took one for the team. No leg, man. Jumped in your way. No! <laughs> <laughs> like the bodyguard, yeah. just in slow motion, body blocking all the shots. Yeah. And the person that saved him to become one is the one he saved. Right. So you're able to, with all your fate points, able to assist the Medicaid team to save your buddy. All right. You pull whatever bullshit you have out of your hat to get it done. Time to put on my best dreadnought impersonation. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, cool. I will be, uh, I'll be hard at work, uh, making my new character then. Uh, that's crazy that you got that in somehow. What, the dreadnought? Sacrificing yourself. That's oh, yeah, like yeah. the pre opportunity presented itself so beautifully, and you're it like, did. Oh, yeah. I feel he should get a little extra XP for achieving yeah. his lifelong goal. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, another, <laughs> another 1500 XP for that. Oh, damn. Go, All right. Buddy. Uh, nice, nice call there, Yul Mug. Thank you. Because <laughs> right. that, that's something you've been game, uh, going for the entire campaign. And that's been like yes. six months in the making. Yep. All right, eight, eight months. We started eight this in months. January. Yep. Ten, eight months. Months. Ten, months. <laughs> ten months. Ten months. Ten months. Ten months. <laughs> oh damn! Uh, You're forgetting the two months we skipped. Oh well, yeah. We skipped yeah. two months because Dan was too busy partying in Vegas. At least you. Uh, was like for a month. month. It was least, a month. That's at least you got that in before like half the casinos in Vegas got like hacked. Yeah. <laughs> there, you go, there you go, bro. You got two character sheets now. All right, sweet. All right, let's uh, let's see. So you're, um, you're gonna how do with, I the, open with those? the sacrifice? Yeah, huh? How do I open those character sheets? I don't you see them see under them. characters. Should made two character sheets. Gave you access to them. Let me check again. Oh, one of them is dreadnought, and then what's the yeah. other one? Backup character. Uh, I do not see backup character. Let me double check. Oh, there it is. There it is. I got it. All right. Let me let me change the dreadnought as well, so you can see and edit. Also, I would like to get a backup a new character sheet too. Oh, just because after case. that encounter, you're like you're like, oh man, these guys are getting <laughs> a little spicy, aren't they? Yeah, true. Well, you know what? Not not oh, make me not one that. too. The, the the thing is, I only have three fate points. I don't have any more fate points. Yeah. 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 So you're oh, gonna be you're gonna relying. Circumvent it. You, you're gonna circumvent it that way. <clears throat> By making I a see. new character? No. No, well, it's fine if he wants to. If, well, dude, if you, you're if you making me a new character, see, that'd be cool too. But it's mostly because uh, I don't like burning fate points to survive. So. There you I go. mean, you're ta you literally shot yourself in the head. Your first character. I, I know, I know. <laughs> but even if I didn't do that, I don't like burning fate points. To survive, blam. <laughs> there you go, Dad. There you go, dude. You make another character. I think uh, yeah. I would like, like one like, as well. If my character had just been had bit the dust, then I wouldn't have spent fate points to keep him alive. Yeah. Because because I'm of the opinion that uh, no, <laughs> if if you bite the uh, bite the bullet in the game, you bit the bullet. Yep. If you die in the game, Unless you it's die something in real, life. real stupid that I died from. Right. Like, yeah. oh no, I tripped into a chasm. Okay, that's bullshit. I'll, I'll burn <laughs> you know, if it's something like that, I will. But if it's something, you know, like in the middle of combat like that, I wouldn't. Yeah. Um, how much experience can I use on the new character sheet? 
Uh, well, you wouldn't get the experience from this mission, so it'd be up to what we had prior to this mission. Does that make sense? So, so whatever your XP 000. is, mine is 2,000. Yeah. Because he didn't, because that new character would not have been on this mission, right. so he would not have earned all those experience points. Well, yeah, so I earned, so I have 8,000 to spend, that's additional 2,000 for this mission. Yep. And then total XP spent was 29,000. Yep. Sucks that uh, our friend got upset. I was hoping he'd be here with us. That's all right. Hopefully he'll be here next week. Uh, I, I hope I, I didn't offend him. Is no, it I, is no, it's personal. No, it's nothing personal. I think what happened is he got that nat one on the agility roll, and then that pissed him off. I think it was more of the sequence of constant failures and constantly spending the fate points to get more failures. Yeah. And then the climax of, oh, I hit him. Oh, I just can't do damage to this guy? Yep. Because nothing Man. feels worse than just being, there's, you know, your character being badass, but then you just yeah. can't do anything. Well, I mean, he, to, to be fair, he's a he's a team. Uh, it was He was designed to be a boss you use as the team to take him down. Yeah. That makes sense. He wasn't the Designed yeah, to be yeah, a yeah, yeah. Like, like, like we get that, but it's like also this was second game. Yes, third, you, third, fourth game. Well, this is third or this is second or third session with us, but he's this is not his first ever tabletop experience. Well, yeah, yeah, but I, I understand those players were like, yeah, I, I didn't do anything effective the entire session because my rolls were shit. Yeah, Fuck this game. you know, like um, they don't quit, but okay. like they'll quit for that session, you know. Well, I mean, he lit him on fire. That's the, something. The other thing, too, is he was getting really frustrated because melee weapons are just overall way weaker than a lot of the ranged stuff. And it depends like, on yeah. how well you build into the melee weapons. Eh, yeah, yeah, yeah it really depends. Yeah, like if I had rolled good in that force roll, I can roll like a good, you know, four, five, or six D6 damage that just ignores armor and toughness and every melee roll that I hit. Well, anyway, um, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Just let Norse cool off for a bit, and then I'll probably uh, I'll probably talk to him later. To see uh, mm -hmm. see what's up. See what he wants to do. So, hopefully, he doesn't uh, quit on that. I don't think so. On top of that, he's been very pissed off this week. Got it. Anyway, no point in uh, discussing it any further, but. Yeah, this is a good session. Yeah. Almost took two people out. Almost. almost was, it was almost spiraling into a team wipe there. Yep. Because I think if Moth or uh, uh, Ericlades went down <clears throat> and then Dude went down, that would have been pretty bad news bears. Yep. Yep. Uh, though I think Dan's character could have just walked up to him and smacked him in the face. Yeah. <laughs> if we still had more time. Yep. Yeah. yeah, but there was, there was about 16 more Space Marines on their way, so I don't know if you wanted to take that all on. No. Oh, I can take them. It's okay. <laughs> just... It would have been 16 turns to take him out on my own. Probably yeah, so... less with both of us. Yeah. It, that's if you don't get hit by those amazing rolls they dodgy. got. Yeah, they got finally got one off. Finally got one off, and dude would have been super dead, right? Yeah, most likely. Probably. Uh, He's about to get pasted. I mean, Eric Lady's almost died. I'm surprised he was still up. I'm just awesome like that. <laughs> just right, it off. It's okay. I mean, his character is probably shot to hell, armor destroyed. Bullets everywhere all up on top of him. And he's like, yeah, I'm just going to walk out of the room now, guys. Peace out. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> uh, all right, sweet. I will see you all next week. Yeah. Yep. See you next week. All right. See ya. See ya.